James. James is my favorite character in Pokemon. Yeah. Remember in the first episode, his like accent was like a little different. It was. It changed. <laughs> it changed more. I think uh, around the time we stopped watching. <laughs> to to just, I think Jesse remained the same throughout the whole show, but I don't know. So the dynamic duo, maybe her hey, up, a new poker rap. Hey. hey James, finish this sentence. Articuno okay. Jinx, Nidorino Beedrill, Hunter Squirrel Chansey. Line. Pokemon! Yeah, that was the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't remember the poker up that well. It's alright, man. Question Who watched that Pokemon's first movie in theaters? I, I did. did. I, I did. did. I yeah. I dragged my dad to see that. Me thing. too. Yeah, who got who also I think it was Burger King or McDonald's who got those gold Pokemon card things. Gold in, in the Pokemon what? ball, in the Pokéballs. I don't remember this. I don't remember those. Uh, I do remember those, but no, I didn't get them. I think I I think my sister still has it. I don't You think maybe that was I remember, like, yeah, that was like McDonald's big thing. They I made, think, I think it was McDonald's. They made yeah. gold editions of every other toy they made. It's like, hey guys, let's make these gold Pokemon things. Honestly, a, a gold, uh, like, the way they made everything gold was just kind of ugly. So, <laughs> eh. But she has a new hat. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. She has a new hat. <laughs> she has a new hat. The way he says it. Yeah, but she has a new hat. Okay. <laughs> there, there's what I'm I, talking about, by the way. And then it's, I feel like it's the humor of that joke is kind of like emphasized the way like Lisa's wiggling the hat in her hand. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, it's just flopping around in her, between her fingers. It's like, yeah. this, this is crap. <laughs> Look at that flimsy little piece of shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> Oh, these are made from Burger King. Oh, BK. Oh, that explains it. BK, really? I was not. A, I was not a fan of Burger King. Oh, okay. I, not even this. Like ever? Not, <laughs> not even no. this could get me over to the dark side. No, even as a kid, I did not enjoy it. You didn't like the Burger King's Kids Club? No. There was a. I thought those commercials were so awesome. <laughs> I don't remember those. The kids. Like a, yeah, like there's a kid in a wheelchair. There's an Asian chick. There's <laughs> there's a there's a white kid named Vid Kid who has like these this visor on. Oh, no. oh those! I thought you were talking about. I thought you were talking about like an actual with real people, dude. Oh no, they're no, not. No, no, yeah, I know. What, I, I know yeah. what you're talking about. I love. All right, cool. Vid Kid, damn it! Damn it, James! Yeah, dude. Damn it! I th- I think the worst thing I heard, like, I, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this before, but, like, um, it was, like, two or three years ago, I saw a tweet from, uh, I think it was Max Scoville from Destructoid, mm-hmm. and uh, he was like, what's a guy got to do to get some, get his hands on some Burger King's Kids Club hentai around here? <laughs> oh, my oh. God. <laughs> That's ter- oh, I was just oh, like, oh, oh, yeah, the funny oh, thing is that he doesn't have to go far, probably. Oh, I dare you to type that in, James. <laughs> Hell no! <laughs> <laughs> like I'm, I'm not a big fan of the Rule Thirty Four shit. <laughs> Who would want to see? Oh, oh. Just like, yeah. Oh, welcome to our podcast. Welcome to the podcast. Oh. Mm. Oh. We got our regular four here as usual, and uh, oh. I don't know about you guys, but I've been playing a lot of video games lately since, let's cut, yeah. Let's cut the crap. I've had nothing to what, do. What cool. game? Since game days, dude? Um, psh, yeah. <laughs> oh, what's it called, though? You want to talk about that for a minute? On the, on the upside, I, I just got a job. Yay! Yay! Congrat! Oh wait, is it with IKEA? Yeah. Awesome. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks, dude. Like, um, the 
uh, I remember like uh, earlier this afternoon, the lady that pretty much like uh, forwarded me the uh, the the job info, like um, she called me up and like to ask if I got it and like what's it called? Um, she ended up mentioning that I wasn't even like first choice. Oh, <laughs> but what? I'm like whatever, what cool. I'm glad I got something. <laughs> wait, oh, no, yeah. no, wait. Tell tell Max and Kelly about your workplace environment. Oh, I'm going to be... No, no, no. Tell them about your fellow workers that you met. Oh, dude. Like, what's it called? The Every time I go in there and I have to, like, chill in the waiting room and every time I go in there... Uh, the receptionist and whoever the hell is just talking to whoever's behind the counter is just like they talk about the most depressing shit <laughs> i i couldn't believe it but i was just like okay i need this job i'm gonna front smile so hard <laughs> but, but like yeah the first time i go in i think they were like they were talking about like abortions and shit oh no and then the, and then the, like the last time i went in they were talking about um I think they were talking about family loss and suicides. Oh my god! What? <laughs> I know, right? I'm like, uh, I'm trying. To, <laughs> I'm trying so hard the, to just. Hey, I'm trying to eat lunch here. Is this in the store? <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, no, that wasn't in the store. It was like. Oh okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah the the employee entrance is like a different little thing. Okay, that makes more sense, but that's that still sucks, man. Yeah. Shit. Cool. You should just like join in and like make it tr- see if you can make it awkward or if it'll just lighten the mood it, or something. It's it's already awkward because they're all a lot older. Oh. <laughs> they're all like they're all like thirty or forty, you know? And I'm like hearing this shit, I'm like, whoa. When you get to my age you'll wish you were dead. Dead <laughs> 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 can you imagine that? Imagine that, that. Imagine that if, if James just walks in. Hey, you! Yeah, you. You want to talk about suicide? The, I think the only way it could be more depressing is if, like, every face I, like, walk into just looks dead and sad. <laughs> like, they just, I, like, they pick up their eyes up to look at me, and they just <laughs> shake their heads slowly. <laughs> Oh God! Oh, it's you. Oh. Like they pretty much look at uh, they look at me like my my Facebook profile pic, <laughs> <laughs> like an alien, dude. <laughs> <laughs> did you adjust the eyes, or did I just look like that? They I, the machine does that, dude. I oh, was okay. about to say because that it started creeping me out. I was like, whoa. Yeah, I was like, it there's looks some, like I have like there's something weird about this, but open. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Max, wait, Max, did you also adjust it? Because I know the machine does it a little, but you can go in and make, make I may, it. Move. I did a little bit, I think. Just a tad, just a touch. Just a little. <clears throat> yeah. It's a great job, dude. Oh, no, thank you. But, but you you all did great, too. You guys sold it. I, was, I remember I was just thinking, hmm, I've never seen a sad, like... Asian photo booth pick, you know? For anyone who happens to be listening, I, I, we like to talk like no one else is listening because that's probably the truth. But yeah, that's just so in case, yeah. No, it's okay. Just in case, when we were in, Max and I were in California, we went to um, little Tokyo in LA with James and we went to a place that had uh, Purikura machines and we took we took some pictures. Where? It was te- what it was ten dollars. What? You should explain what Purikura machines are, because I, I sure as hell didn't hear of them before we went to them. But really? Yeah, I'd never seen. Wow. Them Haven't before. you seen them in like anime before? Nope. That's weird. Well, I don't know how to describe it. It's like it's really popular with girls in Japan. It's a photo booth, basically. It's just like a regular photo booth, except um, like much more customizable. And afterwards, you can, edit, you can like ed- edit basically image editing Photoshop your photo and add stuff and put makeup on yourself and and 
print pictures and put them on your phone and it's a whole thing obviously in japan so um it's like i feel like matt uh, me and Matt see them a little more often just because, like, we've been around, like, some pretty Asian neighborhoods. <laughs> I honestly thought you got, you took them to Q, James, when I first saw Like, them. all the way to Roland Heights? Oh, well, they're everywhere, man. No, I no, mean, I mean, I'm talking about just, like, I thought that, like, that was the place for that. It seems like a decent idea. Yeah. Like, my original plan was to take you guys all the way to round one in, like, it, I think that's, like, in La Pointe. Oh. It's right next to Pony Hills Mall. The, blo- the bowling place? It's a bowling place, karaoke place. I didn't know it's those huge existed arcade. outside of Japan. I didn't know those existed. Yeah. Round one is pretty crazy. Yeah. Well, like in Roland Heights, there's, uh, there's always been a lot of imports and stuff. Hmm. Roland Heights like is when, uh... like Like when Arcade Infinity was there, dude. Like, they were like the first place to pretty much get the first Street Fighter 4 machines and shit. Oh. Yeah, oh, wow. bloody. But, yeah. Enough about that. What's up? <laughs> what you guys been up to? Uh, games as well, but you first. What are you okay. playing? You're super excited, I, I know. I've been playing some Persona 4 and some Dragon Quest 8. Awesome. And that's that's pretty much it. Tell everyone how. But a lot of a lot of Persona Four. What else yeah. happened? In Persona Four. Oh, Persona Four <laughs> feels. It honestly feels like you're playing an anime. You re you restarted. <laughs> oh yeah, I restarted. <laughs> Dude, the game's brutal. Okay, <laughs> like, it's you you can't fuck around. Like, like what's it called? Um, uh, the the MP in this game is called SP for like soul power or whatever. And it's not replenishable. It's barely replenishable. Like, you, the only way you can replenish it is from shit you find in treasure chests. And that's not even common. So, so. what if you go back to, um, like, you like basically rest area? Have to, uh, there isn't really, like, a rest area. You, like, pretty much, like, call it a day and have to go, like, the next day and start from wherever you were. Oh, wow. And uh, so, because, like, um, the story pretty much takes place over the over the course of a year. And so, you're kind of limited with how many times you can just go back. That, and there's just all, there's a bunch of stats you're trying to, like, build uh, outside of the, the whole RPG aspect of the game. Huh. Because, yeah, it, it kind of plays like a... It's like half dungeon caller, half dating sim. <laughs> I like how like there's hesitation in your voice there. <laughs> dating sim. Oh. Yeah, I'm I'm not totally stoked to say that I <laughs> Why? It sounds it's Why how would is I that? want to <laughs> It just. I play it, dating Sims. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. James. I don't know. It's, honestly, yeah, it feels, it feels weird, just because like it's like, oh man, I feel lonelier. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Max is, Oh man, Max's reaction right now. Oh no. You guys know what I mean. Yeah, but uh, dude, it's Shin Megami Tensei. You're playing something <laughs> awesome. Those yeah, guys. It's, it's those a great game. Yeah. Those dudes stick to their guns when it comes to developing games. But yeah, I uh, what Matt wanted me to mention that I came across uh, there's a there's this character that you have to pretty much save, and his name's Kanji. That's pretty much what. Oh no! Oh no! His name is Kanji. James, and, and you can't James. you can't leave me James hanging, left. James. James hung up. What about Kanji? Damn it. <laughs> Never gonna know. <laughs> oh, God, he's dead. Uh. Wait, Kaj- Kaji died? <laughs> you didn't know, Kelly? You didn't know? Wait. I assumed. <laughs> We should we should have we should talk about something random every time like someone 
just cuts out. Gets cut like, yeah, like we should we should have like a protocol just to like randomly go into something. Okay, so how about we talk about? I mean, we could just talk about California again, since you know. Uh, yeah, it's we, our first cast since we left. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we will. Um, damn it, James. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, not, he's like sending me messages. What happened? Call me back. Call me back. <laughs> he's like, he's like panicking. Oh no! I, I. There's no option for me. To, oh wait, I didn't start this call. Oh wait, I did. I have to add him. <laughs> I am responsible for this. <laughs> all, of, all of this. Wait, wait, Kanji's coming back. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, everyone at home. James is still busy. Oh, indisposed. Um. Anyway, Damn, so okay, whatever. Um. <laughs> while I figure this out, you two figure something to talk about. <laughs> okay. So we so, put up our little documentary about game days, and Rock we got approved, like. By the way, everyone. Yes. Okay. And we got like. When I first saw it, it had like four likes and four dislikes, and it was so depressing. To I know. Me. I was like, like, "Damn, who? What the? Like, who the fuck goes out of their way to dislike this? I don't understand." Yeah, I mean, it was so like, it was so quick too. It just made me realize, oh, someone just said f this. And... Yeah, it was quick. It wasn't like someone like stumbled upon it, expecting it to be like the Mega sixty four Game Days cast. Yeah, it I... was like as soon as it went up, people were just. I don't know. Maybe because I don't know. Maybe because Rocco was tagged in on Facebook. Yeah, in I, it. I, I have a feeling that that could be it. And people are like, "Oh, that, yeah, they made a game day document. Well, let's check this out." And then they saw my fat, ugly face, <laughs> and I was oh, like, I "Oh, about you!" But the shots of Max just, you know, the stares into the camera. Those are the best shots ever. Oh, that's nice of you. I could feel it. I could feel the piercing. Soul grab from your eye to my eye. Aw, soul grab. <laughs> but a lot of people liked it, so it's it's better now. But man, when it first went up, I know I was, I was just... like, "Damn, people are taking." I was this. scared. I thought it was going to stay like that. People are <laughs> people are a lot harsh. of salty people. Yeah, a lot of sour grapes. <laughs> sour grapes make the most wine. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Um. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about. I don't even care who this is, but uh, uh, someone said something so stupid on the comment of our video that we did, Kelly. Oh really? Of with uh, when we were just joking around with Rocco. Did Did you remove it? No, I, I didn't remove it. I just left it because I just think the comment is so stupid and based on the stupidest assumption ever that it just I'm just like, dude. I'm not even going to reply to this because this is like dumb. I don't know about this comment. I'm excited. He all oh, okay. Oh, I, are you talking about the first one about the long one? Yeah, the the one about like oh Sean was probably going to do a bit, but then he realized the cameraman wasn't going to. I think I think that's someone trying to be funny, but and that, like they were just, they they didn't mean anything malicious by it. It, just came, I think. it came off as like, dude, this is really dumb. Like <laughs> yeah, because we don't know this person. Yeah. <laughs> just made me like whoa youtube is great isn't it yeah youtube is great (laughs) youtube is great and piggybacking off other people is even greater oh it is like i'm sure i'm sure if people see like on mega 64s uh or you know what at any any popular whatever if they mention a name drop they're like they try to squeeze in and be like, "Oh wait, <laughs> I'm a part of this conversation too, right?" Eh. Yeah. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. Hey guys, you can name drop me too anytime you want. Please, <laughs> please. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what was funny? Um, on the documentary, the when I cut to Jin saying, "Hi, I'm Jin. I'm lactose intolerant." That was my favorite part. <laughs> I just cut it. 
I actually have a lot more footage after that, but I just thought it would be really funny if I just stopped it right there. <laughs> and it just ended with that. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, man. I feel like <laughs> it's just funny to, like, how how big of a Mega 64 fan is Jun? Not a huge one, but I made him. I, he watched versions one through three. Oh, awesome! And and with, and with commentary, so oh, awesome. Seen all of that, um, but like he has no desire to <laughs> call in or get chummy chummy with them or anything like that. I'm pretty. He didn't even like introduce himself or I say know. anything. <laughs> he was telling me afterwards. He's like. Yeah, and then that's when I I remember I t- I kept telling him, "Hey, you should go say hi to Derek." And he was like, "No, I I don't I don't want to." I'm <laughs> and I was like, "Why?" He was just like, "I'm kind of scared." <laughs> oh, do you do you know what happened to him at Pax East? Oh no, what happened? Oh man! <laughs> oh, I need to hear this. <laughs> Max, do you want this? I I do. But I wonder if this is going to be embarrassing for him. It's okay. I don't. He doesn't mind. He doesn't mind. Okay, so, then go for it. Um, okay, so this was like, sa- I forget if it was Saturday or Sunday of PAX East, and Jin was alone, and he was going back to our room, and Mega64 stayed in the same hotel as us. So he was going, um, I think he was going uh, down a floor, or up, uh, it doesn't matter. But like instead of stopping at the lobby, the the elevator stopped midway, and it was like, okay, and Eric and Derek walked into the elevator, <laughs> and Jin's inner monologue was just like, "Oh, oh crap! I should say something. I should, I should probably say something. Say hi. Say something." And so he was like, "Hey guys, what's up?" And they were like, "Oh, yeah, not much. What's up with you?" And and he said, uh, d- "Did you like?" What'd you think of Kelly's baskets? <laughs> <laughs> Out of nowhere. <laughs> they have never met before. No idea how he was. <laughs> no idea who this guy was. Just like, because I, anyone who didn't know, I gave Mega some support Easter baskets since taxis took place over Easter. <laughs> I don't know why, but. I can see this whole situation play out, and <laughs> it's it's pretty great. I wish I could have seen that, but if I was there, it probably wouldn't have happened. <laughs> oh my gosh! Poor Jen. And then, yeah, poor Jen. <laughs> and the, of course, immediately after, he was like, oh, "I'm so stupid. Why did I say that?" <laughs> and then, and the, yeah, and that was pretty much all there was to the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, they were like, oh yeah, they were good. <laughs> and then I called in like the well, next. Bye. Yeah, exactly. And then I called in next week, and Eric said, "You know what my favorite part of Pax East was when some guy was came up to me and Derek and was like, so, <laughs> so you guys know Kelly." <laughs> <laughs> That's too good. That's so funny. Uh, Kelly, you're popular. You're a, you're a pop sensation. Pop sensation. Girls want to be you. Girls want to be me. Yo, I say, you know how we were just talking about how people always like feel the need to say something like when they're on camera with them or yeah, like yeah. every time Rocco says something on Twitter, like retweets me or says something about me on Twitter, I want to I want to just die like i just want to crawl into a hole like uh, why why does this happen and it's only happened a few times i make it sound like this happens every time every day but do do people ever like tweet you like who are you why do you get the special Ugh. treatment <laughs> no like I've, I've gotten followers i think because of it like people who just recognize me and like i follow them back and they're actually really cool people um that's good the shout out to everyone who i met on twitter there's actually a lot um, and it's funny because some of them, some of them like follow me on Twitter, and they get, and then I get friend requests on Facebook, 
And I and I like I know that some of them overlap, but I'm not sure who is who <laughs> because they don't always use their name for Twitter. But the, and then like they if I add them on and then I see on Steam and it's like all the accounts are connected. I'm like, oh, this guy is is that guy on Facebook? Like, I didn't feel it's that. like you got to make like a web. Like, all right, let me let me illustrate who's connected to who. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But, like, there's some really cool Mega64 fans that are, like... Oh, I'm sure. And they're not and they're not just, like, tweeting about Mega64 all the time. That They actually have their own personalities and stuff. It's really cool. There's, cool. St- there's stuff I want to talk to you guys, but a- after. <laughs> Off-air. Off-air stuff? Yeah. Cool. Because there's, there's some good stuff that I want to I discuss with you guys. Uh, James is not getting the... Um, keep trying it, Max. Okay. Wait, hold on. I tried it, but... It's not working. It's weird. Oh. Yeah. Hey. We uh, got him back. Kanji. I, I did Jeez. it. You did it? I just I just oh, tried adding him dang, for the, some reason. The power, the power of Kelly Burke. Thanks, Kelly. Sorry, I thought... I no, it's cool. It the... In your face, people. <laughs> Appreciate it. I would have done it sooner if I realized I was the one who held the power. With the power. <laughs> <laughs> the power. So, so, James, regale us <laughs> once again with... Tales what you're... of dating um, sims. Tales of yeah, Symphonia. Dating. Tales, of, tales of daily Tales. Datings, dating sims. Ugh, gosh, I'm dyslexic today. <clears throat> talking about you were talking about Kanji or whatever. What? What was it? Uh, th- that's the name of the dude. Okay. Yeah, he was like uh, he was like voiced by Troy Baker. Did a pretty damn good job. Awesome. Uh, but yeah, uh, have you guys played it before? No, I have, I have, I have three. Either. I have three FES and four in their shrink wrap, and I still haven't opened them yet. Dude, I heard three is a little harder. Oh yeah. Like what's it called? Um, as far as that whole dating sim aspect goes, yeah. Like, uh, you pick one chick, and then the rest of them will alienate you. Oh damn! Like they will, uh, like, so, like uh, it, it kind of, yeah. Like if you if you start going out with one chick, they the rest will kind of turn on you a little bit. Oh. In 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 P three, yeah. Yeah. But oh, P four, what's it called? Uh, polygamy is encouraged. <laughs> Pete, uh, Persona Three is when they shot each other in the face, right? That is in yes, in the in the head, like right in the temple, to release their personas. <laughs> really? Yeah, they, it was. It looks like a gun, but it's just called an evoker. <laughs> and <laughs> and the way they like evoker. and the way they like I I've seen some of the like animated snippets. The way they like pointed at their head, it straight up looks like I'm gonna shoot myself. Uh, Here it comes. Oh god, I'm so depressed. I'm so depressed. I'm gonna bring out my persona. Uh, but anyways, uh, James. But yeah, it's it's a fun game. It's just brutal. Like, like fuck. I mean, the only way to, cause like, what's it called? The battles are really hard. Like, um, if you don't hit a weakness, then it's it's a long battle of just. You know, just rushing and you know, kind of berserking it. Really? Yeah. Like if there isn't a weakness, you just gotta berserk them, I guess. Like you just gotta pray for the best, dude. Is that? Yeah, saying? pretty much. Jeez. Like um, cause like yeah, you know, like in Final Fantasy, typically if you hit, even if you have a weakness, it's still like you, there's still other options to hit them with other shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, like, the the thing with Persona 4, like, there's, uh, like, some enemies will deflect whatever the fuck you throw at them. Oh, wow. That sounds pretty brutal, dude. Yeah, and then, and then some, they just straight up absorb them, and then it's like, oh man, I didn't know I was gonna heal that. So is it a lot of trial and error then to just oh, determine, yeah. just to determine like weaknesses and strengths and yeah there isn't like oh. a scan thing like oh, wow. you just trial and error and then like there's a there's an option that says analyze and it'll 
show you what their weakness, but that's after you figured it out, you know? Um, I'm just, hmm. Yeah, the Vita version attempts to fix this by... Oh, really? By if you're on a certain day, right? Because it's like day-to-day -day quests, right? And stuff. Right, exactly. Uh, it will sh you can bring up a menu that will sh tell you what everyone's doing on that day. Like, oh, they picked this persona, they did all this stuff. Yeah, I don't know where the fuck anyone is. Yeah, that's generally like apparently like, like, if, like that's like a like game if you want, changer. If, yeah, because like um, what's it called? The like you have to build these relationships in order to like have a stronger party. Because like um, if you hang out with the people in your team when you're not uh, like doing the dungeon crawling mission, the missions like uh, um, like it. It makes them stronger, and they will. They'll do like follow up attacks. They'll, they'll like, uh, they'll heal you if you're low and stuff. Like you know, like mm. some some of that good stuff. A little more support, yeah. Cool. Um, I have not played any Persona game, but this one, I keep hearing a yeah, lot. Of, I, I keep hearing a lot of praise for this one. Yeah, yeah. I've I've heard a lot. Uh, I've heard from a lot of people that Persona Four is the best one. Okay. Generally loves Persona Four. Oh, does he? Yeah. Hmm. It's, but yeah, it is a lot like playing an anime. A a well written anime, would you say? Um, no. <laughs> oh, but that doesn't. That, you're not selling me here. <laughs> it's. Hey, I don't hey. think it's. Quite, I don't think it's well written, but. I am. It, it's it's an anime, you know. Like you, you're kind of just you're kind of content with how vanilla it sort of feels, you know. Yeah, it's but it's it's still like a really fun game, right? Yeah, it's a pretty good game. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Um, how is the? I never. What is the battle system like? Like, how does it look? Is it random? Um, no. No, they uh, they are triggered encounters. Oh, okay. Kind of like Chrono Trigger. Oh, like, so you actually like, see the enemies on the field before yeah. you encounter? Oh, okay. If you can sneak up behind them and attack them, then like you'll start off the battle with like an advantage. But even that doesn't work that well. Hmm. No, like with my experience trying to do that, like. Like my main character is holding a big ass sword, and he still misses, and it's like, dude, I could have sworn that synth in reach. And there are times where I hit him, and it's like, dude, it it didn't give me the advantage. It was just like, okay, it's a normal battle. But yeah, um, the the I I guess it, it's really turn based. It's it's turn based. So, like it feels like a you know like Final Fantasy anything. Okay, <laughs> Final Fantasy anything. <laughs> yeah. So. That's um, the next Final Fantasy. That That's conf the you're confirming subtitle. it right here. Confirmed, yeah. definitely. But yeah, uh, uh, a big thing a part a big thing that's a part of this game is like if if you do hit a weak point or if an enemy hits a weak point, like they get to go another turn. Oh, so that's it's like, awesome. It's it's awesome, and it sucks at the same time because it's like you'll see a big move, and then it's like, ah oh, man, and you see you see like Do you see uh, them like revving up a big move. Is that what you're saying? Or it's like, well, no, like after the attack, you see like your character if they're weak to the attack or not, right? Yeah. Oh, so then it's they're like about to it's get like ah, oh, it's like ah, oh, yeah, exactly. Well, someone else or them could get hit. But yeah, it leaves a a pretty big opening to like have them get hit twice. Hmm. So it's like, man, it's just it's just obliterating that. So it's just it's just <laughs> a, it's like it's nice for you, but it also sucks for you. That's good though that it sort of balances out like that, I guess. Yeah. Oh. Jeez. How's a uh, How's Dragon Quest Eight? I Dragon love Quest I, Eight. I, I love that game. I'm surprised. Uh, I don't remember it. I, I don't remember playing it. And I had this game at one point. And uh, I remember getting as far as the third party member, maybe the 
probably getting close to the fourth. Okay. But, man, I didn't... Uh, I remember it being grindy, but Jesus, this was brutal. Yeah, I mean, Dragon Quest doesn't really change that much. <laughs> like, um... Mm-hmm. Uh, like it's in the beginning of the game you know like the first town right yeah there's like there's a little dinosaur with an axe on the side yes yeah i tried to go fight him oh yeah i, no, you, I, was, no. at, I was at level seven he fucking wiped me out in like five turns oh yeah no those, those are optional those are you don't have I, to do those I know, I know it's optional but it was just like i i, I game fact it and i found out he had a decent drop i'm like okay what's his drop <laughs> uh boxer shorts oh nice I mean, fuck it. I mean, there because you don't get armor or anything when nah. you start out. I don't know why, but that just made me laugh. Yeah, it's boxer. Pretty shorts. decent drop. Yeah. What do you get? <coughs> uh, boxer shorts. Nice. Some boxes. A little bit of some Hanes action. <laughs> is that is that all the games you've been playing, James? Yeah. Um, you told me you played. You tried to get started up Kingdom Hearts again. Yeah. Oh snap! Uh, that was that nah, uh, was too hard. Yeah. <laughs> like I couldn't go back. It was really tough. Yeah. It was just like, God damn this. No. <laughs> 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 it's I don't. It, it was like. It, it was like eating. What? It was like eating. It was like eating a ramen cup. Uh, a ramen cup after you learned how to cook really good shit. Oh, okay. You know. Okay. Yeah. Like I can have a meal, but why would I go back to this? Why are you referencing? I'm, s- <laughs> I'm sorry. It's so shit. Uh, is that is that all you've been playing, James? That's all I've been playing. Right, what about kill, kill Zone? Oh yeah, it's right. Oh yeah, yeah. No, James. That is it. the worst. That's the worst game I've ever played. <laughs> 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 it's like I don't understand how that ever got a good review on anything, dude. I don't ever. I, I don't. What the fuck? I don't remember it having any good reviews ever. I remember it getting sevens or eights or something, dude. dude. I remember it was. It was pretty much well. Where like well known that that game had issues. How did it get sequels then? That doesn't make sense. I don't know. It's, dude. it's called Kill Zone. How generic could it sound, I, dude? I have no, I have no idea. <laughs> but man, maybe people were blinded by the hype. They get, that game got a lot of hype, right? That yeah, the hype was hype. that was gonna it was that it was but, gonna like take Halo out of the game. Yeah. I remember That's... listening to podcasts and uh, like their game of the year uh, podcast, and mm. a lot of people voted that for most disappointing game. <laughs> <laughs> That's true because Sony didn't really have a killer right. first person app at that point. So I gotta they say, might... like it, it, the gameplay felt it just as generic as it could have ever been. Like the the. The main antagonist feels like the most cookie cutter Hitler bullshit. <laughs> um, <laughs> like a lot of the dialogue is recycled constantly. The frame rate chugs like mofo. Yeah, I heard that the and, one ooh, problem was the frame rate too. Ooh, you do not want that in an FPS. No way. Oh. And what the fuck are enemies yelling while sniping for? <laughs> <laughs> They're I got him. It doesn't I got make him. sense. Don't you know that's no, like, they're the, like the most effective like, way to snipe, dude? It's just to yell. They're like they're like yelling, "Kill him!" Hey, you! <laughs> You're dead. Stay still. But yeah, that's what that whole thing felt like. And I remember uh, right after I was done playing, I went to go look up some like kill zone reviews. I found one that was like I felt like it was pretty atmospheric. I thought the <laughs> gameplay was pretty good. <laughs> I was like, Jesus, dude, really? <laughs> what atmosphere? You could I'm shoot me. I felt like, you know, the gray fog over all the textures. I thought that, <laughs> that added a new dimension. <laughs> and made me realize how blind I was. There's there's a lot of sand. I like sand. So, uh, it, was ve- it was very visceral. It was a visceral <laughs> experience. <laughs> 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 Let's drop some more. Uh, oh yeah, topic. and it was one uh, more thing I wanted to say. I played. 
I played the alpha build of Iconoclasts on Conjac.org. Oh, is that from uh from um the dude who made uh uh Noi to Love and Noi to Love yeah. Two? Oh, awesome! He did. How is that? It's awesome. Oh, good! It is so good. I saw that screenshot like, I, of that house like out in the wilderness, and it looks so cool. I like the the story was good. The puzzles were good. The game, like the battles, were good. Like um the the dialogue was written fairly witty. It was pretty funny, and I, I mean, I already loved the art direction. Yeah. Um, I mean, the trailer makes you think, uh, oh, looks like you could just breeze through it. I see just nothing but explosions. Just kind of seems like Gunstar Heroes. Yeah. But no, nah, that's a that's a thinking man's game. Nah, son. Awesome. That's good to and, hear. And uh, I also played his uh, his 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 uh, his fan remake of Zelda Legend of Princess. What? I did not hear about this. Yeah, go on konjak.org, dude. All these games are free. Mm. And what do you think? Have you played it, Matt? Yeah, I dabbled in it a little bit. Um, what do you think? I love it, dude. But then I played. I, I played love- on the hard on the hardest challenges, and I beat it. I loved it so it much was- though that I had to stop playing it because I was like, "Damn it, I gotta wait for this to really come out." <laughs> I think it was just like you know, just a small project he wanted to do. Yeah, I know. Is he really making a game of that? Because I, I'd, I'd grab that in a heartbeat. Um, he said. Because I doubt he could. Because like he, he used he straight up. Because he used straight up shit from like Ocarina and stuff. Oh, I, I thought or I thought you were still talking about Iconoclast. Oh, I was talking about um, no, Legend of Princess. That no, I, I never played that. No. That was that was really good. It's a yeah, it's a side scroller version of Zelda. That's pretty dope. And the music, yeah, the, uh, the music's really good. That's pretty dope. Sweet. Like it was pretty. It's pretty funny. Like uh, there was a boss at the end that's supposed to be like a parody of Goma, and it's called Gonad, and it kind of looks like a dick. <laughs> 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 Do you shoot? Do you shoot arrows into its urethra? You um, well, like there's a uh, there's three <laughs> different challenge modes, right? Um, and depending on the how hard of the challenge, you get a different like uh, item. And so I picked like the hardest setting on both of them, and I ended up using a chicken and a bomb shoe. <clears throat> I totally have this game. I'm looking at it right now in my on um, my computer. Oh really? Yeah, our friend, uh, our friend Ronnie, like, told me to get it, and I did. But then I never played it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty fun. And yeah, Iconoclasts. I I hope that thing comes out. I I have pretty high hopes for that thing. I think yeah. I think he just what's it called? He he's either taking a break or something, but. Last thing I remember him talk about that was, let's take a break. And did then, you uh, did you beat the the alpha build? No, I, I I told you I started playing it, and then I was like, damn it, I can't I can't be teased like this. I need the I need the full experience. Oh, when, how, when did you stop, dude? That was because it was pretty short. That was I don't know. I I played that like the beginning of the year, dude. No, oh, okay. That was um. Like last year? No, no, it was like in April, I think. Oh, okay. And then I was like, damn, this game is crazy. And then I haven't gone back to it. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. James, is that all the games you've been playing? Yeah, that's pretty much it. want to take it a step back a little bit and talk about game days some more? Oh, yeah. I had a great time. Uh, uh, Max and Kelly flew... Max, Kelly, and Jin came out. And... Uh yeah, we went to Little Tokyo on Saturday. Just kind of walked around Glendale. Uh, yeah, we had a rad time. It was really fun. I got sick right after game days because, <laughs> like, yeah, dude, right, when I dude. when I was yelling on the Pirates of the Cari- Caribbean ride, water got in my mouth, and I swear <laughs> I got AIDS from that shit. <laughs> I remember you were like, oh, water went in my mouth. 
<laughs> but yeah, like, I think who was it? I, I, it was I felt Max, it right? by the, I felt it by yeah. like within the hour. Like, oh no! <laughs> Did you feel like the Lizard Queen? <laughs> I was thinking about that the whole time. <laughs> Dude, it's like take these and these and then these. <laughs> And then thank you, thank doctor. you, doctor. Oh, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> and then you took it a step further, and you were like, F this ride. i got to touch this barrel. <laughs> Remember that, James? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got him in touch. Yeah, 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 I touched the barrel. On <laughs> <'Cause... the curve. laughs> no, no, the, I think the most... Uh, I don't know. Should I even say that? What? Say anything. <laughs> okay. Oh, we'll edit it out on... later. <laughs> okay, then. On... Uh, uh, when we, uh, uh, bef- uh, when you guys were, I think right after the meetup, me, me and Gerard like went to go ride a few rides on our own. <laughs> yeah, and we I don't know rode. Why I'm laughing already. I'm sorry. We, we rode the Matterhorn, right? Yeah. <laughs> and um, right before the ride took off, I yelled out goodbye, Jews. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. You did. You did. Oh man! <laughs> and I was—I felt like so stupid because it didn't take off right away. We had to like pause. <laughs> <going on. laughs> on the Matterhorn, uh, and I yelled it loud, dude. <laughs> Everyone was like, "Oh, get this Nazi out of here!" <laughs> I mean, it, it, it kind of fits in in Disneyland. <laughs> oh man! Oh shoot! Damn you! Oh, you oh, just because it's just because it's true doesn't mean. Oh man! Well, yeah, go for it. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> no, I'm, I mean I'm kind of done there anyway. Yeah. Let's talk about some secret stories. Secret. Oh man! I don't know. Did anything uh, secret uh, stories? Did anything crazy that happened that wasn't <laughs> on the documentary? Oh, well, I mean there was a lot of stuff. We I mean we weren't filming all the time, but. Oh man! Uh, I, I don't know. But I remember I was in line, uh, I think it was Thunder Mountain. I just felt like when I was talking to, like, a few dudes, I felt like they were just kind of replying with what they would have said on YouTube. Oh, shit. <laughs> what? And I, Wait, just, what? Like, I, and I just felt like, oh, God, I hate you. <laughs> Wait, say that again, James? Wait. And I just, um, what's it called? When I was talking to, like, some other fans at Game Days, right? Yeah. And I just... I feel like such a dick saying that because who knows? What if they fucking listen? What if they're the dude that I was talking? It's all right. It's all right. They don't know you. They don't know you. Yeah, they probably don't. You're not James, the man. You're not James Cardona. (laughs) Yeah, I'm not. (laughs) No, no one can go to game days. Is to that like fan site and look you right now? Okay, no one can see. Yeah, for sure. Okay, just say what you're gonna. Just go, man. Just go. But yeah, dude, I, I mean, like, I was just like, I felt like I was just trying to ha- have a normal conversation with them, and it was just getting stupid. Like, they were just answering with, like, the dumbest fucking responses. I think they... <laughs> like, what, dude? Just Do you remember say... any specifics? Because I want to hear this. I want to hear these. I don't remember any specifics, because like, I, like, I intentionally blocked it out of my head. Like, were they saying... I was just... I was just mad. I was like, I don't know. Like, well, like, I remember, I remember walking out of that line thinking, I don't know if I want to come next year. <laughs> <laughs> were they saying like, "Hey, so like, were you talking to him like, hey, so have you, have you seen um, Mega sixty four's like latest video?" And they, what were they saying? They were saying like quotes from the like the thing or what? That's how they like responded to you. Kinda like like, like say. References like, yeah, like, 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 I don't remember them because I was like, <laughs> I don't want to remember. But I mean, I mean, just like the YouTube comments. Mega 64 related because of something some shitty kid said. <laughs> because of our, uh, no, I'm just saying, like, how you, you said it's YouTube comments like that because like, it, it just sounded like they were replying in memes, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, or, it's, oh, yeah, God. or are they, or are they like. Exaggerate something, really and, and I don't, and I don't want to remember memes because I don't, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially when you're at Disneyland. Yeah, yeah. It's like what? It's like it's this, like not now. This place is supposed yeah. to be not isolated ever. from the world, guys. But check it. I think <laughs> next year we should flood the merry-go-round. Flood the merry-go-round? Like we should all be on it. 
Oh, yes. I think so, too. <laughs> yeah, it's no, Max, right. literally take buckets of water and just let yeah, loose. F it. F it. Let's just flood everything. We're just going to dump water we bottles, should, we whatever should we can have, find. We should all just have water. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. You know, you know, like uh, a couple days after game days, I I mm-hmm. went back to Disneyland with my cousin, and dude, that that video that I put up of him running into the the trash can, I saw that. That was great. yeah, he, that was awesome, dude. No, that was like that's just one of the things I randomly filmed. He was doing that nonstop, and <laughs> it started getting to the point where security, Disneyland security, was like starting to hover around us. For like, oh, and I told him, dude, you gotta, you gotta stop running stuff. I remember when I first saw it, I was like, Matt, um, well, yeah, the first time you mentioned that Disneyland security was hovering around you guys, I was like, how does Disneyland security adhere a handicapped person? Exactly, that's why they're just like, what do we? They were probably thinking, should we tell him to stop? Is he doing this on purpose? What is he? What is? What's wrong with this kid? <laughs> do you think they'll? The best part, dude. No, here's the best part. When you're handicapped, you get to cut in front of line in every ride, right? Mm-hmm. So we'd cut in, we'd cut in, and we'd take like special ways. People would be staring and like, oh, look at that kid, he messed up his leg. My cousin would stand straight up, walk to the ride, and be like, all right, I can't wait. <laughs> like he'd like walk, <laughs> he'd walk like normal, like, <laughs> like <laughs> oh god. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, make it more obvious that you don't really need this, huh? <laughs> Why was he... <laughs> he? He actually had knee surgery, but he recovered well enough to be able to walk normally. But he was just like, eh, "I'm just gonna rent this thing out. Just, let's just see what. Let's just see, okay?" <laughs> I just, I just thought the most <laughs> random thing, like it, for Disneyland to just regulate the situation with a handicapped dude. They, they like hire dudes that are amputees with special made <laughs> oh, seats for segways. Taking it far, James. <laughs> um actually if you're you know that y- if you are handicapped their rules for for handicap is so mm-hmm. dude they're they don't have any restrict you can come up there and be like um i have irritable bowel syndrome and they're like oh okay here's your handicap path what yeah what? no joke not joke no it's no joke yeah just show up be like yo yeah. i got the ibs Hit no me up. we I went we went to uh space mountain and it was a different day, and my cousin had no wheelchair, no anything. He just had a brace on his knee, and he was like, um, I had knee surgery. Oh, okay, come on up here. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> what? Um, exploitation. What? Yeah, seriously. Um, what? I, I noticed that uh, the way you guys entered to Disneyland, you guys had to, you took the tram. We did. Oh, yeah. Well, no, yeah. We did. Well, you have to, don't you? No. Not necessarily. You could actually just walk through the front entrance no, if the, you were. Here's the best the, entrance. I cannot. I couldn't believe I, that. I've I never. I don't. I can't remember the last time I walked I can't, to the entrance. No. Yeah. Here's the thing. I can't believe people aren't utilizing this yet. But there's a Toy Story lot. You park in the Toy Story lot. A bus takes you straight oh, to the man. entrance, and you're off. And when you get back on that bus, you're dropped off to your car. Huh. To you, to your car. Yeah, like the, there's a whole lot with like a billion buses that are nonstop going, and you just run. Oh my god, on. I've never even heard of that. That's amazing. Yeah, it's called the Toy Story parking lot. Next time, guys. Next yeah. time. Yeah. Dude, should I buy a pass? Um, it's like man, it just looks so fun to just go whenever you want. Yeah, if you want to, if you want to be able to go in anytime you want, yeah. Like you said, it's hundred dollars a year, right? No, it's twenty. It's like a one, month. twenty bucks. Oh, it's yeah. No, wow. Wait, I thought I'll, it was they cut the deal. I thought it was like a one fifty or some shit. No, the path, the pass that I have, it costs like three hundred twenty dollars. Oh, wow, brutal. Pay, pay, but that's that's monthly. that's like five days though, man. That's like five days. Oh, exactly. If, Dude, yeah, that's four hundred dollars. This year, <laughs> this year, in the past two months, I've gone eight times. Yeah, you already got your money back. Yeah, like Max and Kelly, if you guys were living out here, would you guys buy a pass? Mm. Uh, 
probably Honestly, not. I, probably not. <laughs> Wait, how much? How much was the pass again? Twenty a month. Yeah, probably not. No. Because <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, guys. I get I'm, I'm I get sick of Disneyland pretty quick. Like I I don't think I can handle it two days in a row. Um. Depends on what you do, to be honest. Yeah, true that. Um, because California could be a whole other beast if you make it. I mean, walking keeps you healthy, but God, at what cost? <laughs> <laughs> and that's the, ti- that's the title of this week's podcast. Walking keeps you healthy, but at what cost? Uh, Anything actually, crazy. Yeah, Max. As ahead. much as I liked... As much as I like Disneyland, I like uh, parts of California Adventure more. <laughs> I imagine that it would be that awesome. I've never been to California Adventure. Is good. the pat is the is your pass for both? Yes, it is. Hmm. Hmm. I think I think I wouldn't get a pass just because I don't I don't know if like there'd be other people to go with me like all that often. But uh, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you if you are, that's one person. So. And if James is. Yeah. Yeah. And if I, I would. T- and if I told you. That I Cal- mean, California Adventure has some pretty good margaritas there. Because <laughs> they have. Is uh, Cali- California Adventure a better place as far as like dining goes than Downtown Disney? Well, you could say you can argue that all their stuff is new. Have you been to that creepy French place? It might be Italian. I don't remember. I Wait, the in- one, it, it's in downtown Disney, as like a big old gesture looking thing in the no. entrance. Okay, dude, I have. Uh... You saw that though. <laughs> oh. Oh, you, know, you know how much an annual pass to Disney World is? I just looked oh this up. Oh my god, I- Disney World! I've yeah. never been to the world of Disney. I've been when I was young. Okay, look what I a un- a premium console. pass that includes oh, access to all like Mario. all the parks as well as the second. the water parks is seven hundred forty four dollars. Son of a fucking bitch. Hundred. What? Seven. Hundred and seventy four dollars for a pass. Seven hundred forty four dollars. Oh. Seven forty four. Seven forty four. Lordy. Fuck. Good lord, that's a lot of money. See, obviously... Yeah. Good lord, that's a lot of money. We are richer blood over here. Not that rich. <laughs> Flossin'. No, um, to be honest, Disney World is too big for me. Yeah. It, it is it's it like, too much to walk around? Dude. Oh. You have to take... You have to take uh, buses from park to park, and yeah. it's like... They that, own stretches of road, like, and I'm talking like almost highway length stretches of road. Yeah, it's mm. fucking ridiculous. You really, if you go there, you should really spend at least like four days minimum there to to see even a little chunk of it. Yeah, if you want to see like bare minimum, like visit two parks a day. Um, when I was how really many parks young? are in? Dude, oh, I'm sorry. Dude, Disney World is not how many, joke. How many parks are in Disney World? Four or five? There's what four. The fuck? I... What's the fucking point? No. <laughs> there's four, and then there's also water parks. It's... James, Disney... So there's six. Disney World is no joke. Yeah. It's no joke, dude. They don't fuck around. When I went there, I saw a giant golf ball. Seriously? Wait, where's that? It's a golf course. They have their own it's... golf course. No, there's a golf you, ball. I didn't know you went there. I went there when you I was, went to Disney World? When I was a kid, I have family in Florida. Oh, okay. And when I was younger, we we drove there, dude. Oh, I remember oh, you told me that. Oh, my God. We, it, took, it was a three-day drive. That is gnarly, dude. Let me just leave this for you, James. Let me just... Let me just you can just soak in. Soak all that in. Just take... Just, <laughs> What are you leaving for me? Is is it in the message box? It's a map of the world, basically. Yeah, that's Disney World. Okay. Do you see it? It's probably bigger than something in Grand Theft Auto. I do love Epcot, though. That's that. Yeah, that's where I went. Um, the Epcot you know, Center. You know what's weird? 
You wait. Oh, what so... the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure that's just not a nation? No, that, that is it, dude. But I was gonna ask uh, Max and Kelly. Wait, you've both been there? Yes. Yeah, okay. I've been there several okay, times. When I was younger, I do not recall where this was. The la- my only two memories are, oh, let's go to Epcot Center, and there was a bunch of video game stalls. Oh, um, where was not that? anymore? <laughs> but do you do you guys know what I'm talking about? No. Oh, dang it! There Could were, have like, been anywhere in those like, five cities. There was like SNESs, like in a row, like he'll play all the new games before they came out. Really? Yeah. Oh, no. That sounds so awesome. But they all had That's... they all had timers on them, so like kids couldn't hog it. The the system would reset over like. Oh wow! That's yeah. awesome. Dang. I don't remember that. The cartridges didn't even have, uh, they were, like, sharpied, like, this is, like, like, this was before, like, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4 came out for SNES, and it, it was just sharpied, like, TMNT. Aw. And I was like, what is this? Oh, <sighs> man. The gaming mysteries of the world. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. Sorry, everybody. No, just saying okay. good night to my, to my okay. mother. It's okay. <coughs> Back to the games. Back to the games. Kelly. Back to the games. This is what yeah. We're, this is what yeah. we're all about. What's tell, up? Tell us how hard that unboxing really was. <laughs> oh, dude, what the fuck! I don't, dude. That thing was not. Uh, it wasn't made of normal wrapping. Okay, <laughs> it looked like it, dude. It looked like. Oh, you're talking about the Toki Doki one? Yes, I am. Yeah. You yeah, got... that was that was rough. <laughs> you, see, you can see the tension in my. No, I can arm. see the tension in everyone. I'm just, everyone's like, "What is this?" It just it's kill. It killed me, dude. Like. What, what, what I love about that video is that I can see myself give up. <laughs> yeah. like, I can see it in Just my face. Like, like, nope, this is like, not going to happen. I, gotta figure like, out I can't do it. Like, it's this defeating me. Like, the, um... Hat opens up. <laughs> like, the look of, like, oh, dang, I, I can't do this. Yeah. <laughs> like, um... You remember in Napoleon Dynamite, James? Mm. Where... It, where Napoleon's uncle is selling that Tupperware stuff. <laughs> yeah. And he tells, Dang it. And he, yeah. And he, no, and he tells that guy, goes, let's see if you can give that a quick tear. And he's like, uh, I, I can't do it. And he just like sadly puts it down. <laughs> That's what it is. That's what it was, James. That's what it was. Uh. <laughs> but anyways, Kelly, what games have you been playing? Um, I haven't embarked on a like big new game yet and I need to do that. Max said he was gonna let me borrow something, so I was I wasn't sure if I should start something new and big yet or wait for that. Is this me uh letting you borrow the Wii so you can play some old stuff? That's what you said, right? That is what I said. How old? I'm talking I'm talking, I'm gonna well she you, I mean after she beats Resident Evil, I'm gonna lend her Paper Mario Thousand Year Door and Wind Waker. <coughs> ah. Couldn't you just give me the your your GameCube? Uh, I sold my game. <laughs> I sold my GameCube actually. Oh. I. Part ah. of me. Part Hear of that, Kelly, I know, I, and I, and I feel Kelly, like I, I have three GameCube games that I don't really have use for, and they're pretty good. Would you want me to like try to mail them someday? What are they? Super Mario Sunshine. Oh. Wind Waker. And Skies of Arcadia. Oh, wow. Those, oh. Are, those are all really good. That's actually, pretty, that's actually a pretty good selection, Kelly. I would take him up on this offer before he changes his mind. <laughs> yeah, you, sure. Would you like them? Cool. I'll bar- like, right. I'll, I can just borrow them. That's fine, too. Because I don't even have a GameCube. I don't even have a Wii anymore, so See I don't have year. use for them. James, don't worry. I got a copy of Rogue Galaxy you can borrow. Mm. I'm at this weird like impasse where I I still have my launch Wii, but it it overheats and oh really? That's and, bizarre. And so I have to leave it unplugged. And if I want to play, it, I plug it in. Um, well, but I'm sucks, thinking dude. I I don't want to. If I do get a Wii U, and it's probably going to be way further down the line. 
I don't know if uh, I think I might want to buy a new Wii and transfer all my data onto that new one, just in case the old one like fucks up. But at the same time, I'm like, well, you know, one of the reasons I'm getting a Wii is so I can play GameCube, GameCube games. games. Okay. Um, and it's like, it's like, okay, well. You know, why not just get a GameCube? And then I'm like, well, if I want to play Brawl and I want to play with the GameCube controllers, I have to use the Wii. I have to I have to use, the, like, the original Wii because yeah. the Wii U doesn't have GameCube support or GameCube yeah. controller ports. So... Does the Wii U play Wii games? The Wii U, apparently... Yes, it does. It does it through an emulator, so you have to oh. go into... You have, you have to huh. go in through Wii mode in order to... Uh, to to play them and the fucking shitty thing is that in order to I think activate Wii mode you have to be connected to the internet which is the dumbest thing I've ever heard that's <laughs> bullshit wow. imagine yeah. how yeah. many people are like so confused right now trying oh. to play Nintendo's really messing up with this although I I mean I played the Wii U at my friend's place and it's really fun it's pretty don't get me wrong yes. it, like honestly um, seeing the Nintendo Polish in HD is pretty amazing. Yeah. Like, I can't wait to see Mario Kart on this thing. Oh my god. Yeah, I can't see, I can't wait to see the, you know, Nintendo's games coming out. Yeah. Pikmin 3 <clears throat> already looks really pretty. Um, so yeah. But yeah, anyway, so, sorry Kelly, go, go ahead, continue. I know I was thinking... Uh, mm. When like listening to Giant Bomb talk about Wii U, like Their problems. how many? <laughs> I so it feels so bad for people working at GameStop who have like families or whatever coming in and being like, "So I just want to buy the the screen attachment for the Wii." Yeah, like, oh man. Imagine oh. how awful it, like how often that must be happening, and like or maybe not because it's not selling that well, but but like it must happen like enough where it's just like oh you know it's even, it's even better is what do you mean I have to buy a whole new console <laughs> <laughs> what yeah and, and like I can imagine people like not believing them like thinking they're just trying to like, sk- like yeah exactly like, 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 you, guys, like, you guys no. just want my money no, I understand. Yeah. I just want the new screen. I just want the I don't new. Want a whole new thing. I just want the new Game Boy. But <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean the bank's out of money? <laughs> Solve it. You only have enough cash for the next three customers. <laughs> hey, what the hell are you doing with my money, Fred? <laughs> Honestly, what's that guy's name? The dude from like oh, It's a Wonderful Life? Oh, uh, Jerry, um, Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> no, oh, no, yeah. no, it's the way, my house. The way they throw him in randomly. <laughs> it's so perfect. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no, the money's in Bill's <laughs> house. And, uh, and Brett's, uh, Brett's house. house. <laughs> what are you doing with my money in your house, Brett? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, but anyways, oh. Kelly. I'm so sorry, <laughs> Kelly. Yeah. We do this to you specifically, and I feel so bad about it. <laughs> I don't think so. I think it's pretty well spread. It's pretty okay. well spread, yeah. That's okay. I don't have much to talk about in the way of games. Uh, I, like I said, I, I didn't really start anything new, except for a little game called Professor Layton oh, and snap. the Diabolical Box. Nice. Is that the uh, I don't like it. That's the oh. second. Yeah, that's the second one. It's a, no, oh, is it because okay, it's so, hard? Hear me out. Okay. So I don't know what I think it's because like I guess I, I I tried to go in without any expectations, like for any game really. But I guess oh, I had okay. some sort of expectation that I was really gonna love this because I was like, Oh, this is like Phoenix Wright, but with puzzles. Like I had never seen any gameplay and yeah, that, that game makes Brain Age look like a fucking retard. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, it's like... <laughs> what the... Yeah, let's just... Moving on. I I thought it was really... It's really cute, and I like this, the art style of it, and the characters are funny, but the puzzles are... They, yeah, they just make me feel dumb, and it's like, you can't fool me, Professor Layton. This is just a math problem half the oh, time. Yeah. Yeah, and, and like, it's and it 
it, it when it gets harder it's like complex algebra yeah yeah it's getting it, it's getting harder and there's there's questions like straight up like it like time like if this train leaves at this time and this train is over is this many miles apart when will they meet and stuff like that and yeah it, like more than half of the puzzles uh, have numbers in them and they're they're pretty complicated like math problems which i i guess that some people can do in their head because that's the sort of th- things they are but i that's not how i do things like i i definitely um make use of the memo option i really i'm really glad they have that in there where you can like uh yeah, make notes and then you can make notes because that's what i'm doing for almost every puzzle is like writing out the numbers and then at the end they tell me good job and then they explain how to do it and it's like oh this is much easier than the way i did it man <laughs> I would- <laughs> it's almost it almost feels like it's a sheet of paper that's there like math homework it's like you better show your work yeah only i i do it the long way <laughs> and, and it, it's just like horrible <laughs> flashbacks to calculus or, or like algebra or <clears throat> calculus class where like I did far more work than I needed to, and I was like the <laughs> teachers trying to explain to me like this is how this is how you do it like more to be more you know, this is all we really have to do, and I don't get it, and then I just yeah, Layton. they make it sound so simple, but no, Layton. yeah, <laughs> Layton's like looking back at you, <laughs> you idiot, <I'm- laughs> this is all you had to do, and I'm like uh, there's a coin, you idiot, <laughs> you needed a hint coin. Yeah, I played the first one. I gave up after like six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, like I, I got through that little the trail, oh, man. <laughs> the, the, the trail I'm puzzle. Sorry, James. This is I think really it was like the third or fourth puzzle, and I was like, "Ah, oh, fuck you! Just, Never doing that's this." That's really funny to me, James. I'm sorry. I'm not laughing at your at your intelligence. I'm just laughing at the fact that you're just like, you know what? Yeah. It's tough. It's definitely a certain type of intelligence. I don't want to discourage anyone from trying it out because I yeah. really think that people should try it out and you might actually you might like it a lot. It's just that <laughs> it's so heavy on the logic. I, I don't know what I was thinking because I mean it's I, I, was, I was expecting more riddles and there are some really cute riddles and unlike just uh, deduction and sort of like you have to think about think about conditions and less about conditions plus numbers and i really like those those are fun i, I really like That's those cool. type of um one of my favorite types is you know those ones that are like you have eight people that need to sit at this table mr brown needs to sit next to his wife oh god and, and like th- this and, person, and there's 20 people this person doesn't like this person so they can't be next to each other and it's like try to uh, try to you have to fit them Dude, all to those that. drove me nuts i love those i though that i will give up on for sure i'd be like oh there's one you, of those for you, you should be on. you should be a wedding planner <laughs> yeah. okay uh my cousin likes this person but hates this what can we do that's actually yeah dude that'd be you should make that as a game james the wedding planner <laughs> Oh god! The you thing is, he's definitely afraid of apple juice, and there's a, be, got a gallon of apple juice right next to him. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind writing the story for that game, like why they hate each other. <laughs> so yeah, check it out if you got the patience. I'm on chapter three. I don't know if I'm going to keep playing it because there's seven chapters, and I'm getting. It's just it, like each puzzle takes me like. 15 to 30 minutes now because they're tough and, and you just feel like too badass yeah. now to keep going my, my and i was telling john like beat all of them um, i was just like i was like how the hell did you do it it's insane <laughs> go on wow. like by, by the time he beat he's like like half dead he just like looks like he's like <laughs> he just looks terrible i beat it <laughs> i beat it guys uh, i beat it Oh, John's a pretty smart guy. No, He's can, uh, he just he just doesn't take, give himself enough credit more than half can, the time. Now I can take my final nap. <laughs> he, he dies. <laughs> final nap. <laughs> <laughs> like the end of a movie, his eyes slowly shut. Just shut. 
Uh, <laughs> what, el- what else, Kelly? Okay, um, other than that, I didn't get to talk about this last time, and I think we can, um, other people can talk about this one, too. Uh, did you guys finish The Walking Dead yet? Damn it, no. I haven't. Uh, I haven't been able to get more episodes. Okay. I, da- I downloaded episode have- five already. Yeah, they're they're done with the whole. Yeah, one. I fi- yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm not even in. How I, did never, you like I, it, I didn't Kelly? even get to two. Let's just let's just keep it at. How did you like it, Kelly? Amazing! <laughs> please play this game, everyone. Okay. Uh, please yeah. play The Walk Dead. Like, game of the year. Spoilers. Oh, game of the year. Snap. Best best tension making in a game. Kelly is yeah. calling it out now. Game of the year. Probably from, um, yeah, they really, yeah. They really know how to yank the heartstrings and really make you want to save whoever you want to. But you won't be able to. Oh, and I'm that's... not. Spo- I'm not spoiling it. <laughs> James is like, what? What? No. I'm talking like no. Gener- like generally, you. Oh, what I love about this game is that it. It makes you feel like your choices <coughs> impact what's going to happen, even though they really don't. Like, the, like the plot stays the same no matter what. It's just how you get there. And but for some reason, you never feel like you need to go back and and try it again because you know, like you still know in the back of your head, like, okay, I did this. I need to live with the consequences. I was just doing what I thought was right, but yeah. Well, so you kind of. <laughs> Do you feel a little guilt trip more than half the time? <laughs> Not, I wouldn't say guilt trip because I I feel like I did what's best. It's just like the situation is is fucked no matter what. Right. So that's the thing. Um, I was listening, the Giant Bomb guys talked about the difference between this and Mass Effect and how in in Mass Effect you're kind of limited because. It's also a, a much larger game, so I mean, it's hard to it's hard to compare them that way. But you're kind of boxed in as far as like there's a definite like good par- like Paragon response, and then there's the the quote unquote bad bad or just uh, renegade response, and you kind of know you know what's going to happen more or less, <laughs> um, depending on what you say. Uh, but in this game, the choices are a lot vague. It's more vague. Like, I have no idea how, like, if I say this, I'd sometimes like, you don't even know that the tone is going to be. And there were times I pick something and like, <clears throat> comes off of saying it a lot meaner and more sarcastic than I thought it was going to co- turn out. And I was like, Oh, Oh no. Why did you <laughs> say that? Like, Wait, that wasn't supposed to. Yeah. But, but like, it's only a couple of times. It's, um, and, but, like, in, in Mass Effect, I felt angry when, like, at the end of Mass Effect 2, someone, one of my party members died. And I was, like, pissed off, like, why the fuck did this happen? And, like, I know I could have avoided this, so I went back and uh, did it again so I'd have all my party members. But in Walking Dead, it's, like, more or less, like, you accept what's... You, you accept given. those consequences. You accept those consequences, um, and the game doesn't reward you for making the quote unquote Wrong. good guy right decisions. Okay. It, like in Mass Effect. I like that. Good. Yeah. Like it's in Mass like, Effect, you're expecting to get the, like, okay, if I play this game right, I will get the good outcome. Because that's how it is. Yeah. Because uh, I feel like so many games are black and white. There's not enough games that kind of tread that gray area really well. Yeah. And this game is all gray. It is <laughs> the dark middle chapter, as they say. <laughs> yeah, it, I didn't it, know they said that. The whole um, thing is the whole the thing whole, is a dark. Whole, middle. <laughs> there's nothing but middle. Um, no, uh, that's a uh, a giant bomb reference, James. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. As yeah. they say, as they say, when in Rome. But in the walk, Walking Dead, I only went back once to see if I could prevent something that happened because I was so flabbergasted. When this one thing happened, and oh, uh, man. I'm talking about the game in general, not just uh, the last chapter of it, um, but it, I think it's in chapter 
two or or three like outside the the trailer. I don't know if you guys know. Did you guys play through chapter two and I've, three? I've played through one only, and I and I decided to just wait until all of them come out came out, which now they are all out. I can start playing. Oh. Is, is the fifth episode like a resolve? I don't want to even. It, it's it's not over, is it? It can't be over. Um, yeah, there's another gonna be another season, right? Yeah, I heard this. Okay, is season, season one. <laughs> okay, cool. I like how you said this can't it can't be over, right? It can't be. <laughs> there is definitely it can't be over. Like they they could have ended it at there though. Like oh, okay, I mean it, it's it's one of those situations where it kind of looks like a cliffhanger, but it it could just be the ending of a good story right then and there. Um, do you, do you and, think... and the ending doesn't oh, just. Sorry. No, I'm just saying the ending's good. Okay. It's yeah, I, I keep hearing that it wraps up really nicely. So, but yes. here's, here's my question: Do you think that they could continue with those characters and everything? Like, like do do you think in general that those characters can come back for a season two, or or would you want to see a, a whole new cast? Well, I think by the end of this game, a lot of the cast is going to be thinned out. If you know what I mean. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. So it depends. Uh, like. Remaining, Are you saying that, like, if the game could carry over the people who have still survived? Yeah. Because that, that would be really impressive. Like, mm, okay. mm. as the... But I feel like they might have to... That would be really impressive, but I feel like they'd have to start with a clean slate, because that would be really difficult. Right. It's like, at, at, throughout the game, there are actually different parts where someone can die, but not die. But the game, like... The, the plot still stays the same, but like, yeah, there's straight up times where you can. I don't even want <laughs> more than that. But are you still playing as the black dude? Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. I don't, do know, think... I don't, I don't know if those are just really funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> do you think if the story carried on with him, do you think like uh, do you feel like it would wear thin? Like, uh, like I can't answer. Can't say it, James. You need to say it. You, you can't. I, you can't answer without spoiling something. Huh? Yeah, because I know the answer to that question, but I can't. Okay. All right, we got homework. Playing the Walking Dead game. The show. That's that's my homework. I can't wait to start it. the The first the first one is really good. Like just the just second one, my home. favorite. Oh man, but I hear oh, it's so heartbreaking. I keep hearing. What are you hearing? Just how heartbreaking some of the stuff that happens. Yeah, there <laughs> there is one part in particular that that oh, was em- yeah. emotionally jarring. I was like, <clears throat> "How do they get away?" I, well, not like how do they get away with this because it wasn't like how they pull it off. Yeah, and how like man, they just went there. Oh really? And without without being like shocking, like it wasn't like oh random rape scene. It wasn't anything like that. It was like this. I didn't see this coming, and now I have to deal with this. Damn. Oh man. That sounds ex- I'm excited. You should be because <laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't want to overhype it though. Because well, I mean, everyone's. Has pretty much everyone's said doing it, that, it, 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 and everyone has said it. It justifies it, so you, you can hype it. I'll believe you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got a yeah. random question for you guys. Okay. Um. Well, uh, Jura kind of spoiled it for me, <laughs> and that he's sucks. like, Why "No, no, no, that? no! Not not Walking Dead. He spoiled it. For, uh, he spoiled my Christmas gift for me. Oh. Oh." And uh, it turns out I'm getting a 3DS. Oh, awesome. Oh, man. And Yeah, and, like, I was wondering what games do you guys have? Because I want to see if I can play with you guys over Wi-Fi. Oh, that'd be awesome. Um, Mario Kart's the only one that I have. Mario Kart. Yeah. All right, cool. Because, that, yeah. I, 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 okay, cool. I'm going to jump on Mario Kart. Can't then. go wrong with that, James. Is that the only one that has a... Uh... 
No, there's some others out I, there, but I, have, I can't. I have uh, Revelations, but I mean, I don't know if you'd like that online, to be honest with you. Mm. I know you. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> <laughs> this guy knows me. I know your style, bro. Yeah. I don't think you're going to like I've... Resident Evil Revelations. I mean, like, it's... I don't think I know anyone else as long as I know Matt. <laughs> Besides you, John. Like, I've known Matt for... It's, it's been 11 years, Matt. <laughs> Damn. We're old, bro. But... I know. Enough of this nostalgia. What are you playing, Talk Matt? About some... I was going to ask oh, you. Oh, no. Sorry. What were you going to say? Go. I was, no, I was going to ask you what you were playing. But... No, but. Ah, oh, you two guys. But we have to make sure that if Kelly's done first, because I don't want to. Yeah, it's her. The, no, I'm done. <laughs> um, play Walking Dead if you are anyone. Play Resident yeah. Evil if you are a, a brainiac. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Like if you have an IQ in a triple digit area, that latent's just for you. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> I was going to start Journey last night, but I kind of fell asleep. Oh, no. After I was doing work. And, um, what's it called? I have been playing, though, Ocarina of Time 3D. Nice. I totally mm. played that. And, <laughs> and I don't know why, but the Forest Temple... It's kicking my butt, dude. And I don't even know. I don't what even. Hell? I don't even know why. I'm t- uh, talking to the kid. There's, there, there's some really everything. interesting, like you know, just uh, 3D aspects to that. I what's actually did get on? stuck there for a, like a hot mi- minute. Yeah, and I don't know what's going on. Everything up to the water temple, I kind of have. I know, like the back of my head. Yeah, I know. Like, that's, back of my that's, hand. That's the problem. <laughs> and and my sister was playing has been playing Link to the Past lately, and she's asking me, hey, what do I do here? And I'm like, oh, you do this, this, this. And she was like, how'd you ever figure that out? And I was like, I don't know. When I was a kid, I just looked through everything, I guess. And, dude, yeah, I don't know. I'm... That's... And I haven't played that since... Like, that was the game that I was playing. I started it before game days, and then I picked it up back up. And I was like, wow, this thing is... Doing something. I feel me. better. I feel so much better now. <laughs> I was like, this, it, either it's because I haven't played Zelda in a very long time, like in general, and I lost mm-hmm. touch with that, or there's something else going on. I don't mm. know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been playing uh, Hitman also. Mm. And I oh, think, I want to <laughs> hear solution. about that. I think that game is hilariously awesome. Good. Because. I walked around Chinatown in this beaver suit, and <laughs> it was just funny to see him casually walk by someone, break break the neck, and then just vanish. That is pretty funny. Especially since... While in the beaver suit? Yeah, dude! Oh my god. <laughs> the beaver suit, the beaver suit, like, I... Uh, the ways you can kill people, on, I heard there's... A lot of people like um, kind of complaining because of the disguise system or whatever, but I think yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's a flaw you can o- you can oversee and you can What just... about the checkpoint system? Um, I haven't had a problem with that because the levels I well at least what I've been up to, it, it's they're short enough that you don't really need a checkpoint. Like there's some checkpoints. I'm like, why would I checkpoint here when the exit and my target's right there and I can just fix it. I haven't had a problem with that personally, but I know a lot of people have, and I can understand. I probably, I, I when I heard that, I was like, "Oh no, really?" That's the costume, by the way. I took a picture of it. <laughs> what is the thing problem? Um, the, you the can only point. save at checkpoints. Yeah, oh. you have to, you hit, and you have to find them. They're not just like automatic. Like, let's oh, say, okay, so they don't hold your hand for that one. They but, just kind of go. It's just kind of obscured. And also, everyone responds, right? What do you mean? Oh, oh my god. Like, oh, if, oh, you, if, if you die, you have to checkpoint? Yeah, if you, yeah, if you yeah. save at a checkpoint, <laughs> yeah, and then you die, everything, that sucks. Everything, behind, uh, everything Every- before you respond again? Yes, dude. So oh. you could, I feel like you could get pinned in really easily. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. 
that, can, yeah, it, that that pinches you hard, dude. In um, Blood Money, you can save wherever you want, and all the conditions that you that you done stay the same. You done, and done. Um, all the conditions you went and did. What's Those, also interesting is, um, like, I'm not gonna. I I I wanted to see. Just, I know you're not supposed to do this in Hitman, but I said, you know what? Let me just go guns blazing. Just, just for the <laughs> heck of it, in one level, it's... I survived so easily, and I'm on. Play, I'm playing on hard. I, oh, I really? I straight up said, "What's up, guys?" And I came out of a corner with a shotgun, just started blazing everyone. I ended up killing everyone before they could call backup, and they were like, "Oh well, you, I guess you cleared the level." Wow. wow. But my, but my, but my, but my score was definitely really low. Like. It doesn't. It def. It does not reward you for killing anyone who's not a target. If you if you open fire on someone, you get a bunch of minus points. Um, if you so, what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to subdue them, not kill people. So you gotta like sneak up behind them and right, just like choke hold them and then toss them you, like. You, you have to do stealth kills. Yeah. Pretty much, okay. or if you're a real badass, you don't kill anyone, and you just get through the whole level with that. <laughs> I, I, I did that in Blood Money that, once. That's pretty cool. That <laughs> is too hard in this game. I will, I will, I will, I will, I might as well do that in real life. That's <laughs> what I'm just saying. I might as well just go ahead and try to do that in real life. Um, but the ways you kill people are, I, I think if you like the way Blood Money handles, like the that uh. Oh, poison the food and just sit back, watch. Yeah. Watch. Or like, what I did was when I was in that beaver suit was I went. There's this guy walking around, and he has to make a phone call. So I snuck up to the area where he's gonna make a phone call. I broke open this gas canister and just, it was just leaking. It was like a gas stove or something. I, it was just leaking gas, and he goes ah. And then, I walk away. All badass, like he goes over there and he's on the phone, like arguing, like, "Oh, where's my whatever, whatever?" And he's like, "Oh, I'm so stressed." And he like lights a cigarette and <laughs> awesome. As you probably can know where that's gonna go to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, and then it's just it's just really crazy. Like he died of emphysema. <laughs> slow and painful <laughs> death. <laughs> um, that was good. Were you? You know, like, how... I think Blood Money was the first game where I was like, wow, that's a lot of people in the crowd kind of look. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a lot of people that this game can render. Like, I think the most I've ever seen in any game. And without it looking like recycled animations? Um, Are the character models horribly recycled, like in Blood Money? You're going to have to just take a look. Well, in Blood Money, wasn't it more of a particle effect that they used? And then this is actually... Are these all... Wow, these are all 3D models? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, you can tell if you look. You can, you can see, like, there's there some... Some are very low res some in very terms of their res, texture quality. Some are... But I was really impressed that all of these people are, like, interactable. I don't know if that makes sense. You can, like, run into them, like, fully... They, yeah. They're, they're fully animated, like... That's that's pretty yeah. awesome. Whoa. I was messing. I was. I've messing, never seen a game that rendered them much. <laughs> I was messing around and I was like, "What if I just fire in the air?" And they all like just they all scatter, dude, and it gets crazy. That is wow. That's impressive. Um, so I mean, the graphics are really good in this game. I think, I think you guys will like it. I mean, a lot of a lot of blood money like purists are like, "Oh, this game is stupid," but I think it's really fun. And I think you guys would, you guys would. I like it. whenever, <laughs> what? whenever it's like it, it, you're the character of the complainer <laughs> that you do. <laughs> He's always like a tight. It, it just kind of sounds like Tyler. <laughs> and he and he always sounds like I always try to make it sound like they have uh, some anal problem. Ah, oh, these <laughs> these games are dumb. <laughs> these, oh, what is this game? Final Fat? Oh. What is standing around while fighting? 
I I don't know why I said that. I, I <laughs> okay. That was the number one complaint I heard from people who didn't play turn-based RPGs and stuff. They were like, "Oh, this game's dumb." Cuz like when you fight someone, you're just standing around. If I was them, I would just run up to them and I'm like, "Dude, you're insane." <laughs> Those but, people are idiots. Uh, <laughs> have you guys have, have you guys seen that video? Uh, normal people play Wii U. No. It was a. Uh, I think it was made by like Gizmodo. Oh man, poor Wii U. And and, and it was just like their dumbass complaints. Uh, <laughs> they're like um. <laughs> they're like, wow, this controller has a lot more buttons. Uh, I think it just seems a little more complicated than the Wii. <laughs> I think, I think the big seller for the Wii last time was like like Wii Tennis. I really liked that. Oh, <laughs> I have a question. And I remember one of them was like, "Ah, oh, it's the, this controller doesn't just it's just too big." I feel like it's not like an <laughs> iPad Mini. Yeah, I, I heard that one and I was like, "Wow." It's like, ah, oh, just uh, want to shank you, that entitled hipster. Max and Kelly, are you guys a part of the Nintendo Club? I am. No. Oh, okay. I well, am. Well, this will just go for Max then. <laughs> Sorry. What about Club Nintendo? Did you um get your? Did you? Were you a part of the Platinum or whatever? Uh, I think I think I am Platinum actually. Wait, hold on. Did you get your gift? <laughs> did you get your gift? Uh, oh, was it a deck oh. of cards? No, you could choose. I got these. <laughs> I I picked the posters. Oh, yeah. I have... The posters. Now I have a giant Kid Icarus Uprising poster. I gave my sister the Skyward Sword poster. And what? I, mm-hmm. And I have a... Um, the the Luigi's Mansion po- uh, game for 3DS. That came in a big poster, too. Oh. That's cool. Um, oh, I'm... Wait. Oh, you know what? Did I use my... Coins right now. I have two hundred. Oh uh, no, I'm not even at gold yet. I thought I was. Oh, actually... what? It reset for the year. Oh, it reset. For... Oh, yeah. that's why. Maybe. Yeah. It's Wait. A... It's okay. They're just posters. Yeah. They're just just giant box art poster. <laughs> oh, that is too awesome! Dang, box art posters. Box art posters, baby. Uh, anyways, that's pretty much all the notable games. I will probably try to start Journey. Um, I wish I could tonight. get enough posters to make my room look like it was still in 1996. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, I was gonna ask Kelly something, but I forgot. Let's see what you did. Was it about Hitman? It, I think it was gonna be about Hit. Oh yeah. Um, are are you? Okay, I was gonna tell you guys about the contracts mode. I think that's actually pretty cool. So anytime you're playing in game, any mm-hmm. NPC that's walking around, you can tag them for killing, and someone else has to perform that kill in a like whoever brings up another contract. Like, damn, it's so hard to explain. But let's say you're running through a mission and you're like, <coughs> oh, this guy would be cool. Like, <coughs> this guy's in a hard spot. Let's let's make him the challenge. Like, let's let's I'm gonna post this up. Whoever can kill this guy with just like a knife, or Whatever. So you basically tweet who you're gonna. No, no, kill no. You, you. And people respond with. Yeah. No, no, no. You, you put. This is multiplayer. Yes. You put. You put a contract out like yourself. So you put it online, not okay, on, so not you, on Twitter or anything, but you make you make a Craigslist post. Yeah, in game, <laughs> basically. Like, who wants to take up this contract? You got to kill this guy. But you got to do it. <laughs> you got to do it with like a screwdriver only. And no one can see you, and you can't kill anyone else. I'd love to see that Craigslist post. <laughs> Who's down? Kill this man with a screwdriver. Kill this nothing man with else. Screwdriver. Nothing else. In the observatory. <laughs> you get you get props. So, I haven't messed with that yet, but I was looking and I was like, man, that is kind of cool, but only cool if more people were playing. I don't know anyone else who has this game. <laughs> 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 like if it was James, I'd be like, "Yo, kill this guy with the bowling ball right now." Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, boss. Right, boss. Um, I'm trying to think if I was playing anything else. 
Uh, I tried Far Cry 3. I thought it was fun. I heard it was awesome. Um, I'm really curious. It, dude, it doesn't give a fuck, dude. Good. I'd lo- Man, I'd love to rob a place in, like, old school burglar <laughs> outfits. <laughs> like, I got the, Man, the eye she- mask on. They got the eye mask on, a striped shirt, and black pants. And, uh, oh my god, was, where's Waldo? Like a, a black beret on. <laughs> 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 oh, wait, I haven't played. I'm playing Uncharted 3. That's what I've been playing. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. You, you were telling me about Far Cry 3, though. <laughs> no, Uncharted 3. You, uh, like earlier this week, you were oh, telling yeah, me yeah, how early the, the enemy was. Yeah, but I like the character Voss. But. I've been playing Uncharted 3, and it just got up to the part where the skit of Mega64, where they were making fun of it. Where he's all Disoriented, and I was, dude, I couldn't help it but just to laugh, because all I was imagining was Rocco doing this. (laughs) (laughs) You guys, have you played Uncharted 3, Max? (laughs) Yeah. Kelly? No, I've only played, like, a little bit of the first one, and I wasn't, uh, Oh, it's because you played the first one. Is the Uncharted series good enough to warrant a purchase of a PS3? That depends, James Cardona. Yeah, it really does depend. It's you should just play it. I mean, like I mean, it. can you tell me it's that good? I can tell you that. I can't. I can tell you that uh, the voice acting is fantastic. I can tell you that the second one had. What? How did he survive that moment? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, from what I saw in the trailers, it was it was pretty gnarly. Yeah, it, it's cool. Um, Kelly played only the first one, and I, I have a question. I played the first. Yeah. Does the combat get better? Because that was my main complaint with the first one. Is it, it? It's. I feel it's much better in two than it is in one. They, um, yeah, that's what I was going to say. I played the first one at my cousin's when he first got his PS3, and he was like, oh, look, let's play this. Uh, I was like, wow, this is... What is this, a wannabe Tomb Raider? That's literally what I... I don't know why I thought that at the time. <laughs> even, <laughs> even though they're, like, different, like, beasts. Yeah. And like, now Tomb Raider's trying to be Uncharted <laughs> yeah. in a lot of ways. Um, and But then I actually got the second one as a gift, and I was like, all right, let me... Let me let me try this out and dude the second one kelly is so different <laughs> really yeah. yeah i mean it's just like it's damn. like night and day but <coughs> anyone hates nathan drake as a character don't ever play those games because i could see i could see him getting annoying to someone like really easily so I'm yeah not, i could see that too and james is a very like man this guy's oh. annoying yeah, I, I'm, I'm quick. Uh, I'm quick to push my hate button. <laughs> Speaking of Tomb Raider, Kelly. Yeah. Did you see all that new stuff? I did, and uh, Max got me Angel of Darkness because that's the only piece of crap I. Well, that's the only. <laughs> that's the only Tomb Raider game I never finished. Um, I heard main that one, was like main one, anyway. the worst one or something, right? No, wait, the no, only, I heard. But- Revelations was bad. I love Revelations. <laughs> then it wasn't that. Wait, wait, you mean the last Revelation? Yeah. Uh, that was my first one ever, and I so maybe I'm biased, but I love that one. No, I I never played it, but I I was just when when the new Tomb Raider stuff came out, they were talking, people were talking about it. I don't know if it was that or Angel of Darkness that they were talking Angel about. of Darkness probably because that one was awful. Okay, but I I that was the one I had on the. It, a PS2 and I I couldn't like the controls were so bad I literally I tried so hard but I only got to like the third level and I had to give up it was so bad but oh, now man. they're on Steam and now I have it I so, dare you to uh, try to play the old ones gonna try to with the uh, control screen that they, it used to have <laughs> what, what good memories because, like, I've seen people on the internet say, <laughs> it sounds so stupid, I've seen them say, like, oh, I love Angel of Darkness, I don't know why people don't like it, maybe, and, and it's like, maybe because I played the PC version and the controls are better, so. Really? 
I'm hopeful. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I hope. I hope it is. Well, we're gonna find out, everyone. In in four hours, when she beats it. Really? Is that long? Me... No. no. I don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, I'm just being a, a, a dick. That's Yeah, that's I'm actually good. um I have a soft spot for uh, Tomb Raider because that was the first three D adventure serious game I played when I was younger. Yay. With my I wanna uh, hug you. With because... my You know what was funny? Cause, uh uh I had my cousin who owned the PlayStation, we would rent Tomb Raider um <laughs> and it was a dilemma every day because we were like, "Can you make this jump? I don't know. Just try it." Uh. <laughs> <laughs> like any moment where Laura was like sliding down a thing, and we're like, "Do we jump? Do we jump, or do we just slide down?" I don't know. I don't know. Ah! It was just—it was crazy. Like, it got—it got to the point, James, where my uncle Ron would would get involved and be like, oh my god, this game is intense, this game is intense. <laughs> like, I don't know, because I guess... what I mean, prior to that, what was a game like that? Like, an exploration game like that? There really wasn't anything quite yeah, like it. I don't it. remember anything like that, right? In in terms of uh, in terms of using, like, actually taking advantage of a 3D environment for platforming? Yeah. Um, I mean, around the same time Mar- Mario 64 came out, but that's a completely different type that's of game. A completely different beast, and it's uh... yeah, yeah, yeah. So I actually it's, hope they the, do good with uh, the new one. The first, the yeah. first 3D, probably the first 3D game I played was Jumping Flash. Oh, I want to play that. All, I was. The, that one's on PSN, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I have it, and on, I bought it. Like that was like the first PSN game that they released. That was like PSN. Here's some uh, PS1 games, and I was like, I'm buying this. I don't, I don't even care right now. Ah, uh, that's nice. I'm about to, because uh, I lost my Alundra save. I have to start over. Play that. I gotta play that. I have that, and I started the game, and uh, I like it a lot. It's just keep getting distracted. I, I really think James. Or mm. I don't know Kelly though because wait did Kelly end up playing Link to the Past? I played like half of it. Okay, and, and you were like, "Eh, right?" I, I mean, it, it, yeah, I I, <laughs> I I liked it, but it's it's getting it's, it's a bit tiring. It's it's that's why I stopped. Okay, um, but James, James, I know you really like Link to the Past, right? Yeah, I dig it, dude. Play Alundra, and you will be like, "Link to the what?" And I and, <laughs> and I know that's crazy thing that for me to say. That's cool. Okay. That's a really crazy thing for I'll, for me to say. I, I, I trust your judgment. <laughs> but I mean, Link to the Past will always have a, a spot <laughs> in my heart too because I traded Mario Kart for it. But <laughs> but but man, a lunger dude. That game is. It's a PS One game, right? That, yeah. Yeah, that game is. What any everyone would want in a Link to the Past like sequel? Is that a pricey one? No, it's only five dollars on the PSN. Oh, I mean, a physical copy. Oh, probably it's probably like around seventy or eighty. Uh, God damn! Really? Maybe. Let's get, uh, let's get James me, a, me, great, a greatest hits version. You know where the I'm, I'm going to check the. I'm I'm going to look on Game Dude's site. All right, I yeah. want to know if I'm right or not because yeah. I kind of pulled that number out of my ass. <laughs> Your turn. Max. Oh, um, <coughs> let's see. Actually, on the way back to Connecticut, I beat Final Fantasy IV: Warriors of Light. That was that was uh, that was good. Um, pretty simple, like in in almost every sense of the word. There were some really interesting things they did uh, with the progression system and the way you battled. And but you know, it, I, I'm yeah. Did that game play a lot like I don't know Final Fantasy V? No, n- well it did have a job system, but Final Fantasy V was way more in depth. Okay. Yeah. As opposed to what's that like? Uh, it's like they try and really do have an NES feel. Okay. With this game. Like, so it feels sort of generic. Yeah, uh, 
I'd say, yeah, definitely generic in terms of its the the story it's trying to tell. I mm-hmm. think visually, it looks really awesome, and a lot of the places you go to look really cool because it, ha- it looks kind of like a storybook, and okay. a lot of the environments pop out like they were like they were pages of a uh, like a pop up book. Okay, so it has a lot of charm in there. It does, yeah. Visually, it definitely has a lot of charm, and um, the jobs that there are that are there are actually kind of interesting because they're jobs you wouldn't think of. would be in there. Yeah, like uh, one of them's a seamstress. Okay, um, just wh- sewing. Yeah, and I I didn't unlock it because it's one of those jobs that you have to unlock later. Okay, um, but there's like. So how do you how do you kill enemies with the textile? Uh, I good question. If I got it, I'd be able to tell you. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, you know, like basically, you know, you level up a job by placing. It's basically it's called the crown system because every job is a crown. So it's like you go to the menu where all the crowns are, and so you have like the dark knight crown or a white mage crown, and you wear that crown. And every individual character, with every with every with all the four characters, you level up. Say like the white mage crown for that character, and yeah. but it, that doesn't necessarily mean it goes across all four characters, right? And for every time you level up the white mage crown, it takes more gems for you to level it up. But for each level, you gain a new ability, and mm. uh, you know, obviously, do you have to throw old abilities away? Uh, no, you don't throw them away, actually. Okay, cool. Away. However, you have six slots, six uh, ability slots uh, to <laughs> put in whatever abilities you can put in. So it's sort of like, hey, you have a choice. You can you can take some of the abilities from your crown and mix them it up with uh, the tomes of magic that you have. Everybody can use magic, uh, obviously, depending on the class. You know, you might be more proficient uh, with magic than others. Um. But yeah, I mean, some of the jobs, like, one of them, one of them's, like, straight up, just, it's called the salve maker, and mm-hmm. the, the, the main thing about maker? The salve maker? The salve. Oh. Salve. Salve. Yeah. <laughs> like, they, they make, they salve, make a like, salve that okay. you massage gently into the skin. I thought it was salad, dude. I thought I heard salad. <laughs> that would be great. I wouldn't put it past them to do something like that for the next game, for Bravely Default, but, anyway, but salve maker, um... South Maker basically it says, "Oh, you can use an item without using um, like uh, an action point, which is the, how you basically you do everything in the game. Is if you attack using action points, you use magic using action points. Um, if you're say like a fighter and you want to use magic, it would cost two magic points for fire. But if you were a black mage, it would only cost one. Is this currency for whatever the hell um, come often?" <laughs> Yeah, I mean, re- basically every turn, it is a turn-based RPG, so every turn you recharge one action point, and you can have up to a max of five. Okay. Uh, and you can obviously charge up in a battle and then bring the that same amount of action points into the next battle. Um, but right off the bat, when you start a fight, you know, you automatically recharge one a- uh, action point. So- Sounds a lot more technical than your typical turn-based no, it, I, I was about to say right now, dude. This sounds crazy. It's yeah, yeah. It's but, it's actually, but also awesome, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. it's funny how yeah, it's actually it is complex, but in a simple way. Uh, mm-hmm. Like there were moments where I was thinking, okay, I have to make sure that I go into the next thing charged up because you know certain abilities. You know, later on, like bosses, it's actually not an easy game. There are some bosses that you fight that <coughs> are straight up like, "Hey, this is actually tough." And when you die, uh, you, you lose half of the one type of gem that it randomly chooses, uh, like half of the stock of that type of gem. There's like ten types of gems, so you know you can you can get an item or you can be a freelancer and you won't lose any gems. But every time you lose, you go back to the last place you saved, and, <laughs> and you and all the things that you did get are still with you. So all the progress you made isn't lost. Um, it's kind of like Dragon Quest, where it's hey, when you die, you lose half your money, and you just go back to the last um, church you were at. But uh, 
yeah, losing gems is pretty rough because you know certain areas and certain enemies drop certain types of gems, and it's uh, they're not they're they're not <coughs> too hard, but they're not too easy to farm. So yeah, it's it's a it's a good game. It's very good. Uh, but now I'm playing Dragon Quest V, and and that game is awesome. Uh, it's Dragon Quest. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> yeah, like it's like you know those games. Don't really change. Yeah, I mean Dragon Quest games don't really derive much from any other Dragon Quest game. Which I hope they don't because I think it's my yeah, existence it, in that series. So, yeah, it's so. Which one should I play? Uh, eight. 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 Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Level five did a great service to bringing that series into 3D. Oh, dope! Okay, yeah. Uh, but five is really awesome. Um, <coughs> after hearing Gerard tell me about seven, like I ejaculated. When- <laughs> <laughs> like these games actually have really good, like good stories and like good adventures. So. <laughs> really want to play a remake <laughs> because trying to find a copy a hard copy of seven is ridiculously expensive and um i just don't want to pay that much for dragon quest seven <laughs> anyway uh aside from that uh i've been playing i i bought it like february but i just you know didn't wasn't in the mood to play it, but I am playing Disguise 4 right now, and Troy Baker's the main character, and he's awesome. Uh, <laughs> any of you guys played Disgaea before? I, I, I dabbled in it a little bit. It's pretty I awesome. watched it play it. Yeah. I want to play more of it. It's They keep layering systems each iteration, and it's, not, it's like you don't have to do these things in the sort of meta game of of maxing your stats out to the point where it's like the numbers are literally going <laughs> off the status box. Uh, but I'm still I'm still laughing at what you said, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, this guy is awesome. The whole now is you're basically a vampire who promised uh oh wait, you know I can hear myself on somebody's end. It's probably me. Okay. Um, Sorry. That's okay. So, uh, you're who made a promise a long time ago that you would never drink human blood again. And, however, you used to be an incredibly powerful tyrant, but now that you're not drinking blood anymore, you've lost all your power, and now you're basically, uh, you're basically a printing instructor who lowest floor of hell basically you know you're just you're just at the bottom you have a lot of pride in your work but you're basically working in the worst place you place you and uh, and, uh james do you not have your headphones on i i have them in oh, so hold weird. on oh huh. it does Wait, no i can't let's see uh yeah no it's good uh so Hmm. <laughs> who just character and his cohort decide, hey, the government called government in this game is, uh, you know, fucking up. You know, that, that, that was the same thing. Uh, so they basically go on a crusade to go usurp the, gov- the government and um, become the new leaders. So there's a system... <laughs> Where basically, you know, the idea of uh, going to and then things. St- Max, you're breaking up. Yeah. Oh, I- Pretty oh. hard. Oh, really? How do I sound now? It, it keeps it, going. It, yeah. You were doing this yesterday, too, after a while, actually. Oh, no. Really? Um, yeah, it breaks a little bit. Here, should we. Can you, can you guys hear me still? Yeah. Know. Yeah. I okay. can hear. I can hear right. uh, you and Kelly, good. Should I pause real quick? No, wait. Do, You're actually, wait, keep talking? Uh, how do I sound now? You were talking about Disgaea, right? Yeah. Keep okay. talking. Just keep talking. Okay. Uh, alright. You know... Some... <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's yeah. breaking up. <laughs> yeah. 
That's that's so weird. No. Nothing. No. Maybe you uh try turning off your mic out. and turning it back on. Okay. Well, uh, well, I'm on my laptop. It's hold on. Ed. Well, I, uh oh. <laughs> I'm I'm speaking directly into the mic of the computer. That uh, sounds better. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm going to start talking again. Okay. Do it. Go. Okay. So. Well. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay. I, I used to do Skype chats with Matt with a rock band mic. Really? Yeah. And you're breaking up with that answer. It's you, yeah. You sound like you're 20 miles away. Uh, it's it's, it's funny. It sounds like you're yeah, you're just constantly w- walking away. Backwards, from the- yeah. <laughs> weird. Wait, what about now? That's clear. That sentence was good. Okay, so let me try this again. Okay. So we need to. <laughs> we need to edit this. <laughs> Keep talking. Uh, let's see. Where's the time at? Oh, uh, we're about two hours, but it's we can. Sorry, we can go a little bit more. Mine says one thirty-four, so just, like you left, yeah. remember? I know, so it's, yeah, it's about two hours. Okay. Just gonna remember the two-hour mark. No, that's fine. Editing, it, like, I mean, okay. this what's it called? Um, we're gonna <laughs> Mac. I feel bad because Max explained all that stuff, and I think I, it's gonna come out really choppy. <laughs> just, yeah, dude. Random tidbit. Uh, yeah, Lundra is thirty-four bucks. A random tidbit, I found it new for a hundred dollars. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. And it used for thirty four. Yeah. And it is have you tried a lunger a lunger too? No. God no. Don't? No. Just don't? No. Just don't. No. Oh wow. You know what? Just cut everything I said, I will start over. Okay. How sound right now. <laughs> you just let's, cut out. Let's try it, let's try it. Just talk normal right now. Okay. So, playing to Sky 4, um, one of the things you can do is you can assign any character you create uh, to, uh, to part of your cabinet. So, you, you know, <coughs> official affairs or, you know, um, health affairs or, you know, all, uh, monetary affairs. And so that different effects on say how much you gain money per kill or what the resistance is of all your characters depending on where they are in this board it's super it's it's like every time i play a sky game it gets more complicated and i get <coughs> in, I get intimidated by all the systems but you sort of get the swing of it and it becomes like just oh man i can't get enough of it and then i realize i have to stop otherwise i'll Get really fat. Ejaculate yeah. again. Ejaculate again. But <laughs> the game is really funny and well written. Like those games always have really fun stories and have funny dialogue. Uh, and the main game is never like incredibly long. Like you can play it just for that, and, and that's perfect. But if you want, you can go absolutely nuts. So I will always recommend Disgaea. Awesome. Yeah, Disgaea is basically the best version of Final Fantasy Tactics. It really is. Like, it is the most fun I've ever had with a strategy RPG. Like, it, it's so quick. It'll, it'll you turn off all the animations for all the moves so you can have things going real quick if you don't want to watch all the move animations again. Even yeah. It's super awesome. Like, and you, could, you can skip seeing your enemy's turn, right? You, uh, I mean you can skip their animations too. So it's sort of like, it just looks like they're hitting real quick and you can make everything move super fast. Cause they totally know who they're making these games for. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's, uh, yeah, they're, they're making the games for gamers. We're impatient people. <laughs> um, <laughs> that four is really, really awesome. Anyway, but, uh, and also I've been playing parasite Eve two because I never, I beat one a long time ago, and I never played two. Have you played two before? No. Dude, I want to play I didn't two. play any of them. I played first, the first one. First one? Okay. <laughs> I'm a game that's not like the first. Really? Yeah. It, uh, it has tank controls like Resident Evil, the old Resident Evil. 
uh, it still uses you still are actually uh, gaining experience and then allocating that experience to leveling up your magic. Um, oh wow! It's yeah, it's very different, and I'm, I'm I, people are very on the fence about that game, but right now I think it's pretty cool. It's it is weird though, very weird. Yeah, very Japanese. Yeah. Uh, Japanese. Very Japanesey. I sure did. Japanesey. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Like, <laughs> didn't Garrett like it describe this game as very moe? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what that is. It in another random like Japanesey term. It, it means like you know. Um, Oh, damn it, Kelly. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That was so red. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Because Kelly knows. I didn't do anything. <laughs> I'm done saying what I want to say because I'm frustrated, but I think you would know. What's the difference between moe and kawaii? Kawaii just means cute. Like, a, a dog could be cute, a, a, a outfit can be cute, a girl can be cute. <laughs> But moe is like an anime term that's like it's a fairly new word as far as I know, and it means like it's it's a it it's like a a trope, an anime trope of a of a female character that's like cute in a way that you want to like sort of protect her, like uh, uh. yeah, like a gr- only only girls can be moe, I think. And they got like those big, sad eyes, and they're like, "Oh, Tasky <laughs> Oh, why the fuck do I know this? <laughs> so it's like you watch anime. It's like no, anime. I don't. It's I like, really don't. It's like the other term I learned. What's the term? Yaoi. <laughs> Yaoi. Yeah. It's Yaoi. Look it up, James. Why? Why a o i? Google. Image. I know. I, I, I will someday. Google image search. Right now. Ugh. Google image search. Google image search right now, James. I'll do it with you. It'll we'll do we'll it. Hold hands. We'll all do it together. Bye. I just Yahoo came up. I don't know why that did. Google image search. <coughs> oh, oh, oh! Come on, man. Oh, come on, dude. Exactly. <laughs> Brutal. Why would you do that to me? I hate you. Stop being... Homeless. I'm not. I'm not being judgmental. God damn it. Motherfucker. It's, it's, like, the la- it's like the last time I... I, I think I, I stumbled upon, like, random Phoenix Wright yaoi shit. <laughs> Phoenix Wright and Edgeworth getting down. Yo, I have some of that on my Oh, computer. damn, dude. <laughs> he's, got, he's got that stash. You need that stash? It's a, just because it's hilarious to me. <laughs> oh, man. I don't, know what, I don't know what's worse, that or my sister telling me, dude, you know, how, you know Sonic people are crazy? They, like, draw their own anime selves, like, making out and humping Sonic. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> furry shit. Um, what's it called? Gerard showed me um, like his when he went to Japan, his friends got him uh, a dojin just to <laughs> of what of what? Yeah, of um, yeah, it was like a a near dojin because you know how the near story is different in Japan. Yes, like. Yeah, because like near in Japan, uh, maybe, maybe it's not the fifty-year-old are... dude. It's like a, it's your typical anime guy. It's like a, you know, a pre. He's not like exactly prepubescent, probably around Gerard's, there. Gerard's into that, dude. He's not into it. He, <laughs> they got it for him as a joke. Did, oh wait! First, before we get onto crazy mode, Max, okay. is there anything else? Um. Yes. What? Okay. What is it? Uh oh. I played Night. 
played uh, Knights before, and I started playing Knights, and Knights is really awesome. It's I, wonder, I was thinking about getting that. It's really fun. I was like, oh, I missed this. I never so, Did you get Knights HD? Is that it? You get it comes with original Knights as well, and the the progress that you make that you. Uh, the progress that you make in either crosses over when you want to switch. It's basically more of an aesthetic thing, but cool. Uh, yeah, it's cool. It's really that is pretty cool, actually. Does it come with Christmas? Uh, oh, I think it does. Yes, I think it comes with Christmas. It better awesome. come with Christmas if it's yeah, it comes with Christmas. Oh, and I've never played that game. Happy DMXmas, everybody! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, and aside from that, I've just been playing more King of Fighters, and I'm understanding how to do this thing called short hopping now. Mm-hmm. It's uh, helping out a lot. Oh, wait, when they take a, like that little leap forward or back? Leap forward or back? It's so, it's so good. <laughs> it's like now, it's like it is a game changer for sure. I remember I always accidentally did that, and I'd be like, "Oh man, it's, do you have a stick for that game?" Uh, I. Do but I actually use this controller that Kelly got me. Oh, okay. It's like a, it's it, it it's kind of like a Saturn. It, it's kind of like an arcade. Button. Yeah, yeah. It's got the six row. Yes, and uh, and it uses a, a more of a proper D pad. So okay. The eight way directional. Uh no, it's like a well kind of. It's I have, I can't describe it. It's actually you can actually tilt the D pad. A small angle, if you want, if it's more comfortable for you that way, it's mm-hmm. interesting. But it's not what I've been playing. What was I about? Oh, what was I about to? What were we talking about before Max said all that? <laughs> we're talking about this. We're talking about Yowie. This is what you were. Talking oh, jeez! I clicked. It. <laughs> I clicked the bait. Hold it. <laughs> Uh, it's nice. <laughs> right, it's funny. It's that's actually. Oh man, here I know J- James. You can't see stuff, right? Um, I can. I'm in front of my computer. All right. Well, while I'm talking on the phone, that's okay, James. <laughs> Kelly posted it's a really, like, really funny photo. Cause like, oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Ah. Uh, <laughs> That's so wrong. <laughs> you have to say hold it. Come on, dude. I imagine there's a bunch of them that say take that. Dude, my my sister like there's this girl named I don't know if, oh, I don't know how well known she is, but she's a, uh she's very like active in the used to be active in the deviant art scene. Yeah. And there was this artist who would always be at Anime Expo. Her mm-hmm. name was Kylie, dude. Okay. And, and she, um, quote unquote, specialized in Sonic, dude. She's like loved Sonic so much, right? Right. She would draw like animations of herself, like in love with Sonic. Come on, dude. <laughs> no, no, but nothing like nothing sexual, but. Okay, it'd, so it'd like, Sonic 06 for her all the time. Exactly. No, it'd be like it'd be like scenarios where like she'd be on the ground like hurt, and Sonic's like, "Oh, come here!" Like, oh stuff, like stuff, <laughs> <laughs> stuff like that, right? <laughs> stuff like that, and um, and I think the best one was I think she had like Yu Gi Oh and Sonic <laughs> like angry at each other, like and the and and herself in anime form, like ah. Oh, you guys don't have to fight over me. <laughs> you... Um, what's it called? <laughs> I was gonna ask because that, that was that's a that's a pretty like well invested thought. No, yeah, I, I mean, I mean, it it doesn't take a minute to just draw I mean, that. You, you know I, mean? I mean, do you guys want to see it? I mean, I have, I found no. it, I found it. Yeah. Yep. Yes. I found her. St- I found her. Uh, hold on. Just keep, just keep talking. Yet, a- and I will. yet, yet again, I'm a victim of democracy. Her, you know what her name is too. <laughs> her name is Sonic Rocks My Socks. Good. And uh, one With the X. Th- no. 
No. It's all one word, and she also loves the dude from Full Metal Alchemist. What's her name? What's his name? Ed or Al? Yeah, yeah, Ed. Or the the main the the guy that's not a not, oh, not a robot. Uh, Alphonse. Like, <laughs> look at this. Like, <laughs> did you post it already? That's herself in anime form. Because <laughs> if you, yeah, if you, yeah, just post it. Because. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Let me let me find the really good ones where it's just like, what? Like I don't how how can you be in love with? Uh, I don't know. You call would you call that a furry if you're in love with Sonic that much? Yeah. Uh, I don't know though because Sonic doesn't have any character. I don't know what am I saying. You can create what's, shit. What's <laughs> you're an artist. <laughs> the best. Let me. <laughs> she has a photo of her dressed in Santa Claus and she's like dropping off gifts for Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff. <laughs> yes. <laughs> James. How is this real? Tell me how this is real. <laughs> and and I think the most mind blowing part of it is she's famous. Like she has her own boots at Anime Expo. Really? Yes. That does that does that make sense? Like, I I don't get it. Like, it, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Like my God. I mean, come on. There's there's BronyCon. There's BronyCons. So you know what I did one time? She made the mis- no. She made the I don't mis- know. What she you made did. a she made a mistake. Okay. She put up her Minecraft server. Uh huh. And I went in there and I destroyed everything. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'd love to see what you would do to people's towns in Animal Crossing. <laughs> Just like dig up the whole town. Or the version. I feel like I mean, no. What I usually <laughs> did I ever tell you guys that story of when this guy on the Minecraft forums trusted me enough to, uh, like, basically say like, "Oh, hey, man, yeah, join our server and." We'll give you land in a place. Did I ever tell you guys that story? Oh. No, no, no. Go on. Okay, like on the brink of before we were even doing this, like right before mm-hmm. we were even doing this, I played a lot of Minecraft, and I haven't played since. To be, and this is the reason why. <laughs> so, wait, does anyone? Does any of you guys play Minecraft at all? I used to a little bit. Kelly, at all? No, I just, well, just I think it once in my life. Okay. So we all it's the, like I've just watched friends. Yeah, play we all know the, we all know the mechanic did. of it. Just you can yeah. build and survive. Go on. Yeah. So this these cats that I met, they were like mm. this, the main guy was named King Kai, <laughs> and he was like, "Hey, you want to join our server?" And I was like, "Dope, that's dope." For like about two to three weeks, I gained their trust. Like, <laughs> they were like, he's sociopath. Go they on. They were like, dope, dude, dope. Like, you're helping us. Like, can you help us clear these trees and like gather more? So- I was like, hell yeah. This whole time under my, because ha- you couldn't go into anyone's houses. Like, that was like a rule for like everyone. Like, no okay. going into uh, other people's private property unless you're invited to. And I was like, all right, so let me just make a secret. So- so you climbed their social no, ladder. No, no, yeah, I, yeah, I did. I did. I was homes. like, I was like one of their like longest dudes there. They were like, dude, like I, I, I'd be like, oh, what happened to this guy? Like, and, and they'd be like, oh yeah, he left. He was like breaking bl- bro- blocks, and I was like, oh, what a dick. Like, you know, trying to get on their side. I, w- I mean, right. I, I wasn't. Right. I, at first, I wasn't trying to social, okay. socially engineer them, but uh, it kind of. All right. So anyway. <laughs> I started building my own mine shaft in my my house, like straight down. I was just mining for tools, dude. I craft, but for some reason I thought you were actually meant your own house. Oh no 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 Minecraft yeah. the Minecraft house. Yeah, holy shit. <laughs> so, 
So I was digging down, and there's recipes online for, like, tools. And the recipe I was trying to build was flint, because it could start fires. Oh my god. And, <laughs> so, I, I, every time they'd be like, hey, where's, 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 where's the Silent Circus at? Which was my name on there, and, hey. and, and he'd be like, oh yeah, I'm right here, I'm right, I'd like, I had to quickly get out and be like, yeah, what's up guys, you know, pretend to help them. Dude, but I crafted that flint. My god. I was like, hey, we should all clear out some forests or whatever. And they're like, yeah, alright. Dude, I set all their houses on fire. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and I had tubs of water and I climbed this hotel that they were building and I just I flooded the the entire hotel. <laughs> and then <laughs> and then and then, like, I pretended I was with them the whole time, and they and they come back, and they go, and the chat, the chat just explodes, like, what? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Like, our town's on fire. And I'd, and I'd be like, what? I have buckets of water. And they'd be like, oh, okay, let's fix it. And then, like, the next day, like, there was a sign that says, like, that, that there was a sign that said, uh, uh, R.I.P. This like this destruct this destroyed town is a symbol of our like strength, whatever, right? Uh -huh. I destroyed I I destroyed the sign and put up a new sign that said the arsonist is still among you. <laughs> and they were like, <laughs> and, they were like and that's they and and that and then they closed and they never opened the server again, dude. They closed that server. Beautiful. <laughs> that was so sad. <laughs> you <laughs> the best, the best. Like you not, no, the you not only the destroyed the town, they're, dude, they're, like, the, wait, hold on, you the destroyed <laughs> their fucking friendships. The best part was when I said that sign that said the arsonist is still among us. I threw the flint item in front of the in front of the <laughs> in front of the sign, so it was just there, dude. So anyone who saw that sign would be like, "There's a flint!" Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That was that was pretty. That was a dark time in my life. <laughs> That's awesome. I haven't played Minecraft since. <laughs> That's a that, great story. That was our segue on to news. What's the news, everyone? Oh man. Um, Has anyone got any news? Uh, let me think of some news. Really quick. Matt, LA Matt. Game Space got that uh, reached their goal like a day ago. Oh um, yeah. I, I backed it. What were yeah, you gonna I saw say? that on Twitter. What were you gonna say, <coughs> Kelly? Well, was I'll, uh, anything more about LA Game Space? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you guys hear about that app? Uh, the the Hitman app that was put on Facebook and then taken mm. off Facebook. Oh, what was it? Please tell me what. Horrible. What was oh. it? What was it? Okay, hold on. So, I don't know why Square Enix Marketing thought this would be a, a good idea. I don't even think this was up for a day uh, and they took it down because of the reaction to it. But, okay, hours. But it was it was a, supposed to be an app to promote um, Hitman Absolution. So, I'm gonna get yeah. And so basically, this allows you to put a hit on one of your Facebook oh friends. Oh my god. It gets worse. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're when you you're setting this up and you, you like you put in their name and then you have to uh choose a um how you, they, the target can be identified. So there's a drop down list of possible um characteristics to pick from and Depending on the gender, they're different. And the ones for uh, men are, like, his big gut, his bad tattoos, his bad <laughs> hair, and oh his tiny penis. <laughs> what? The ones what for women the... are, like, her muffin top, her hairy legs. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Her oh my... small tits. Oh my I god! Not. What the hell? Square Enix, what in the world? I know, and then it, it's like, wow, did a, did a 15 year old boy make this app? Because that's what it's... <laughs> and then like, 
and, and and then like they get they see like a little video or something of like the hitman picking up the hit and and like they, it, he picks up a a, fo- um, a photo frame and their Facebook pic is in it and then it's like <laughs> 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 and you give a you give a a reason why like oh they're cheating on their partner or oh my god. oh my god yeah. And then and then it shows him shoot, shooting a gun, and then it's like target eliminated. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Surprise, <my you're> <laughs> that is so awesome. <laughs> that sucks. Oh my god! Oh. How long was that up? That is crazy. Dang! If that was up want, for just like two know. hours, that's amazing. Less, yeah. Like, oh man! Oh my god! <laughs> That is too good. Like, when would you ever think, "Oh, this is a good idea"? This is this will add some depth and immersion. <laughs> it's like horrible lack of insight on just uh, the, the demographics, and maybe they thought like, "Oh, only twelve-year-old boys play games like this." <laughs> her, her small tits. That's so. It's so cruel. And this is even. Jeez. Oh my gosh! And the and the posting to the friend. I hope you get killed by a hitman. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. That's so messed. They're coming imagine, for you. Yeah, they're coming for you and your little dick. Imagine someone who doesn't know what hitman is. Yeah. That they wake yeah. up and they log on their to their computer and they see. They see that on their Facebook page. I hope you get killed by a hitman. <laughs> or like it's like you're, you're like. Your grandparents and someone elderly, like, I'm gonna check my Facebook. Oh yeah, and they see that because I love to keep up with my grandchildren. (gasps) Sunny Jim is gonna kill me. What? (laughs) Like, (laughs) he just like, I can. Oh man, oh man, that's as crazy as the mini we. What's even funnier is. G- going to the IGN version of this article, and all the comments are like, bunch of pussies can't take a joke. <laughs> like, what? Oh, I can't God. believe people were offended by this. <laughs> I can't Stupid. believe it. They were just threatening to kill someone, but they weren't going to really kill anyone. <laughs> oh, man. Plenty things. I don't know. Anybody's I getting. Don't, I don't know. Because no one's been killed through Facebook before. Yeah. This is just a game. Exactly. Like, oh man. Gosh, take a joke. Jeez. Bullying isn't an issue, like now at all, right? What? Bullying and suicide. Yeah, I know, not... right? Those aren't issues. Yeah. Oh. No way. Definitely not. Speaking of suicide, <laughs> uh, on. mini wee looking. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm looking at that right now. Ooh. What are we looking at? Ooh. What happened? The sad thing is, I think the mini Wii actually looks awesome, but it's so yeah, it looks it's nice. So limited. It's just stupid. It's just so, yeah, it's, it's like, just like what, what's the point? Why did you make it? There isn't even a uh, slot for SD uh, cards. Card is like insane. <laughs> it's like wow, this is, this really is for people who don't uh, play video games at all. And this is this is like that version of the Wii that was really meant for. So that completely pulls the eShop out of the question. This this is the grandmas and grandpas. Yeah. It, yeah. And they the get virtual, a cooler yeah, looking virtual system? Console. What? Cool, no. I mean, virtual console is just irrelevant. Here's the best part of uh, the, the Wii Mini's website. It straight up says, compatible with 1,300 plus Wii games. That's a lot of Wii games, dude. <laughs> Were there actually... Um, I guess a lot of... I doubt it. I honestly don't think there are three. Oh, you know, you know what they're counting? Oh, wow. These aren't Wii games. Oh, they're counting virtual console games. Uh, well, wait, but doesn't virtual console not... That's that's my question, also. Work? <laughs> that's my that's my question, dude. How am I going to play China Warrior? Are there at least USB ports on that thing? Dude. Uh, so, uh, actually... Yeah. Just to just to confirm with people who are listening, the Wii Mini is a Kinect, at the moment, Canada-only uh, release of the Wii system. It's really small. In fact, I'd say that it's as tall as a Wii remote. Uh, 
and oh my god, really? Yeah. Really? It's I'm gonna. Let's see. Where's my Wii mode? It's like it's like a uh, not a, but it's like it's a like a red, like a black, and um, you know it. The thing is, it doesn't have a slot for SD cards. It only plays Wii games, so no GameCube compatible. No, uh, which means no. Uh, at least what we think. Uh, um, so Max, you're cutting out really hard. Jeez, oh, somebody else explain the Wii Mini, basically. The mini, the 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 mini Wii is is just pretty limited. It can play Wii games. That's pretty much it. The mini Wii it, is basically Nintendo go. Yo, here's the Wii. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, more or less. I mean, if if you just want the Wii for for just Wii games, no GameCube support, no no virtual console, just Wii games. Uh, why, why not? Why yeah. why the F not? Why not? Yeah. Give it to your your grandmas and grandpas. Because they because, de- they deserve a because, cooler looking console than what we have. Right, and because there's so many Wii games the coming. Wii, the Wii look, the Wii U looks like a nice console, though. Aesthetically. Yeah, it's it's a uh, it's pretty nice. That screen's impressive, and watching the one to one video uh, through the actual controller, uh, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. Surprising thing works as well as well, <laughs> considering. I mean, I mean. The load times I've noticed for the load times are fucking insane though. They are really, really long. To so, like if just to load the game, yeah. it's kind of little, little slow there. A lot, of, a lot of people keep telling me it's like a big DS, but like in a good way. <laughs> Cause uh, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, kind of understanding. Position it state where they used to be top dog because you know their system was their systems used to be the best. they used to basically be the home console for everybody and now Sony is basically Sony and I, I I'll say Xbox too but I want I'll definitely say Sony's the home system for every developer out there. Uh, um, is is Max cutting out for? Yeah, I can't. You guys hear too. What you're saying really? Yeah, I'm just yeah, like it's it's a, it's as bad as like every other word. I'm just hoping it goes away. How about that? Do you hear me now? Oh, it's w- Absol- the whole sentence. Was Absolutely. Bad. I heard half <laughs> that sentence. So, okay, so now it sounds fine. <laughs> no. no, no, I was kidding, Max. I'm sorry. Okay, just keep going. <laughs> what ha- what's happening to your uh, thing? Uh, to my mic? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so my PC's actually not working at the moment. It keeps locking up whenever I start it. So oh. I'm laptop right now, and I don't... I know. Then I know what it is. What is it? Do you have headphones on? Uh, Yes, I do. Then now I do not know what it is. Because <laughs> I was going to say... <laughs> I was going to say the sound of your speakers is probably canceling your... But you know what? I was wrong. This happened yesterday too, after, but only after like a while. A while? Oh, yeah. You know what? Yeah. That doesn't make sense because if you were on that the whole time, everything has been gravy. You know, ever since we posted game days videos, we got like ten more subscribers. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Really? Yeah, we did. We got an influx of subscribers. Awesome. Yeah, that would be huge. Hell yeah! You wanna um. Well, since since Max's thing is going crazy, you want to just wrap it up right now? Yeah, sure. All right. Uh, how do you want to wrap it up? Uh, Kelly, wrap it up. Up. Oh. Wrap it up. Oh, gee. Well, aka thank- make a wrap and. Um, thank. I want to take this opportunity to say hey to all hey. the cool people we saw in California, oh, including the two that are. Like still there right now, right now on this podcast. Yeah, let's give a shout out yeah, to yeah. our new, our friends, Sam, 
Marcus. Sam August. Sam, Sam is awesome. Sam is the homie. Uh, yes. Marcus Rugnow. I don't even know if I said that right. I want to shout out Jake. Jake said, uh, you know, I don't want to butcher that name. Yeah. Um, Adrian Lopez. He's a homie. Uh, yeah. Our new friend, Adam. <laughs> oh, yeah. Adam was cool. Adam, who was super shy at the beginning, but then I told him, guys- dude, just relax. And he's like, okay. Ended up in one of Rocco's videos. You see? See that? Yep. Um, <laughs> you guys remember anyone else? Uh, Shout outs to Chad, who we met at the airport. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you know about that? Dude? Oh, yeah. That is pretty gnarly. Yeah. Yeah. They told me they met a, a Game Days fan, or I'm sorry, a Mega 64 <laughs> fan at the airport that didn't go to Game Days. Yeah. Yeah. Tisk. And that, like, Tisk. right next to us. And I was like, whoa. And she <laughs> yeah. wore the same hoodie that Kelly was wearing. Yeah, we were we were wearing the same hoodie, so it was. She had a variant hoodie. Oh my yeah. god! Yeah, so it was like really easy to be like, "Hey, look at that!" <laughs> yeah. Speaking of Megasis Four, really quick, did you guys get anything during the the Black Friday thing? I got uh, game rewards. I got the I got the two DVDs and uh, the <coughs> earrings. Because so, I felt obligated as, as, like, oh, man, they're making earrings. I need to get earrings. Yeah, I was going to get the Time Travelers DVD, but, like, I was at Thanksgiving. <laughs> and we were, like, I was, like, knocked out. And by the time I was like, oh, yeah, that came out. Gone. <laughs> oh, man. My, so si- my I, sister I actually... was able to get um, a mystery shirt, though. Oh, cool. Ooh, and that already- you, yeah, did she I get didn't... it yet? Yeah, she did. Oh, I, I oh, didn't I get it. I want to get that new otaku shirt. So do I. Um, she Kelly, she got the one where it's like, uh, it's a gray shirt and it's the Mega sixty four machine, like the wires. Oh, the wires. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And then That's she, a cool one. And she got. Um, she was like, "Hey, you want this poster?" And I was like, "Damn, I kind of do." But I was like, "I didn't. It. I didn't order it though." But she got. Damn, I want that freaking that backyard I, messiah poster. Yeah, I wanted to. <laughs> Cause that's my that's one of my favorite skits, King with a K. <laughs> yeah, that's it's so fucking hilarious. Oh man! But anyway, does, does, does it say fashionably on time on there? Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. I, I to end this. That's that's pretty so such a good skit. It says tribute to um, the government. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I love uh, I love all those all that. Um. Anyways, let's continue rapping. Yeah. Uh, so I have something, if you guys can still hear me. Oh, snap. Yes. Quick, do it yes. quick. Do it right. quick. A woman, <laughs> a woman named Melissa Lee Williams, a West Virginia woman who's 41 years old, is facing assault and weapons charges after allegedly waving a knife at two men who declined her demands to engage in sexual conduct at a motor inn. <laughs> a- so... I don't understand why she's being charged. <laughs> this is what happened. She, uh, there were these two men. Mm-hmm. Basically, okay, here it is. According to investigators, Williams, who lives four doors down from her estranged husband at the 77 Motor Inn, showed up at this dude's door. Uh, and this dude was with another guy. And she just said, eat my pussy. <laughs> It's funny because you were cutting out and you just come yeah, back in and said, all of, like that whole thing got lost except for eat my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right, with that we're gonna end it. So we're just gonna say uh, eat our pussies. Thank you. Thanks for listening, guys. It's been awesome. <laughs>